Welcome to 1997. Seven, I was going to go yeah. 1997. Kid yeah. Rock, Wasting Time. Uh, that's a Justin Stengel pick today, I guess, huh? Yeah. Now you're picking the music? I made a suggestion. Is that, is that what's happening? I just made a suggestion on my way in. I actually no, you like, overrode our decision. Yeah, we I all just, said no. <laughs> but it was on the air. I, I like Kid Rock. I, yeah. I do. But uh, uh, you know what? I like that song. What the hell? That's Screw not a bad it. song. It's fine. It's it's, yeah. it's okay. It's a good it's a good start. I didn't go like cowboy. You know, I didn't go like uh, that way. I'm Sorry. a cowboy, baby. Yeah, I didn't go that way. I like that one. <laughs> Uh, I would have went Bob with a Bob, but that would have uh, that would have drove Jimmy nuts. Uh, I was gonna, <laughs> I like Bob. I was a Bob with a Bob, a bang a ding ding, I'm gonna name that down, but I'm Bob, whatever. Yes. I was gonna suggest I got one for you, but it's too long. You should have got the one with Cheryl Crow. Oh, picture. And then you could have like cried in the corner. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Right. Right. sad that song. Yeah, right? it, it does, sad. right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll right. pick. I'll pick tomorrow's. Movie. <laughs> <laughs> get this fucking. It's gonna be let's, some let's write the ship tomorrow. It'll be an obscure Sabbath song or rap from 1991. <laughs> let's go rap from 1991. Yeah. I, would, I would appreciate that. But this is like the second Our music song. tastes are all over the place, which I kind of like. This is the second song I've I've suggested. Yeah, Eric what? suggested one song since we've been here, and it was Electric Avenue <laughs> by uh, oh, Eddie Grant. Eddie Grant. Yeah, but that was all right. That's that's fun, right, guys? If I recall, that yeah. might have been our best show that we've done. <laughs> Why? Who was on that day? I have no idea. Oh, it was okay. just the vibe from right. Grant's Electric mm. Avenue. There's rumors uh, in Hollywood as yeah. we start our radio show today. I, Jimmy just hit me up with this. I didn't even know. Yeah, my ex. I got a text from my ex because she's very. She's a busybody. <laughs> <laughs> In what way is she a busybody? She just. She admits it too. She's like, I just love gossip. Like she loves gossip. <laughs> really? Yeah, and um, she gets caught up in it. Uh, yeah, she's. Uh, I get a text from her this morning. Wait, where, where, what's the text? And it, again, it's not the the the, the, the newest. There's a Hollywood superstar rumored yeah. to have learned he is HIV positive. Whoa. So I clicked on the link she sent me, yeah, and uh, it said he's a major uh, A-lister. They say he's a womanizer. And yeah. He's worried about, I guess, legal action yeah. from something possible legal action. Could you, could you scroll down for well, the the legal action is probably you know not telling anyone. Maybe uh, I mean I don't know how you do that with AIDS. I mean or HIV. How, how do you not tell people? Right. Uh, let me see. Battled with with AIDS reveal. Wow. Uh, where's where's the one thing with so, it? Yeah, this is from Radar Online from last week. See, they're not brave enough to to print the name. They know the name. Well, they might not have proof. That's a big one, right? But they're not brave enough to print the name. But they're brave enough to do all this, you know, kind of wishy washy stuff. It says multiple informed sources confirm the world famous actor whom Radar has chosen not to identify. See, they know. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, oh, it's medical then. It's probably medical privacy. Has been diagnosed with the deadly virus that usually leads to AIDS itself. The middle aged star learned at least two years ago that he had contracted HIV, but he has desperately hidden it from the world, terrified his fans will turn against him. Uh, what else are they saying? Uh, without treatment, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, AIDS cocktail, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the part where they kind of uh, kind of hint at who, he's, who he is. And they say, look right there, his medical outlook is positive. Could they have worded that better? <laughs> <laughs> they, they said that. <laughs> a terrible way to word that. Yeah. Uh, the actor's list of exes includes... An award-winning actress, a religious movie star, hmm. a top Hollywood personality with a controversial past, a TV star, a media personality, <gasps> and a glamour model, reports The Sun. Hmm. What does a media personality uh, mean? Uh, could just be, uh, I'm bouncing names off my ex and she's doing all this research. Oh, really? Yeah. She's cross-referencing right now? Yeah. But for medical with privacy... Her, with, with her gossip pals? Yeah. Somebody will release the name, but I feel bad for whoever it is, but he, you can't be fucking... A media personality. What does that mean? Because, I mean, if you're a TV, you know, if you've been in movies and you're, you've been a TV star and all that, you're, that's, you're a media personality. Why are, they, yeah, like, why are they putting that in there as well? Because she could just be like a socialite or something, or right. one of those people. Like a Kardashian, like a... Top Paris Hollywood like, personality. Yeah, one of those types. Uh, or, like a or like a host of a satellite radio show or something. Right. Uh, they're not saying he... <laughs> Wait. What happened? Well, I don't know. You should host a satellite radio show. No, the media personality. Oh, you No! Oh, oh, Jesus! Okay, thank God. <laughs> Christ, that would mean I'm infected. <laughs> uh, let's see. But it doesn't say he's a, he's a movie star. Yeah, middle age. The actor's list of exes include... Oh, so these are just the exes. Yeah. 
Oh, so he dated a media personality, right? Yes. Is that how that reads? Okay. Yes. All right, his ex has included an award-winning actress, a religious movie star, a top Hollywood personality with a controversial past, a TV star, a media personality, and a glamour model. So it's saying it's common knowledge that the star is HIV positive and some, something he has known for a number of years. A top Hollywood personality <laughs> with a controversial past. Top Hollywood personality with a... So who's that? Think, think of the we broads. Should just, we should just start guessing. We can I guess. Think that's I like don't... the best thing that we could possibly do is just throw out names of people who might have AIDS. Jeez. <laughs> I actually agreed with you until I realized you were being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> guessing is okay. The yeah. one Is it? Yeah. Ronald yeah. Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Potsy. Let's, let's yeah, start with Potsy. <laughs> uh, you maybe text Barry Williams. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna, if, it's, if it's not Barry, you know he's still hooked to the inside. All right, I'll write him. I'll write because Robert Reed. I'll ask him if he has AIDS. No problem. I haven't talked to him in a while, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, and I don't think it's Anson Williams. <laughs> no, we, we're just fucking around. Yeah. Jesus, <laughs> of course not. You have to clarify all <laughs> yeah, this. Of course not. <laughs> you have to say LOL before and after it. I don't yes. have to fucking call from a lawyer. <laughs> I think the one in there that's important is he dated a top Hollywood personality could with be a me. controversial <laughs> past. Yeah, I have a controversial past. You do? Yes, yes I've dated yeah. a, a middle age. I've dated some top personalities. I've dated media personalities. Yeah. I've yeah. dated some questionables. A, a lot of I haven't dated them. I wouldn't say. I would say very short relationships. Short, very short relationships. <laughs> I've done some high risk things. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. Uh huh, 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 huh. Oh, hold on, hold on. What? Uh, ba ba ba. <laughs> I bet it's Danny Pintura. Well, he, who's the boss? Uh, this news comes just two months after Who's the Boss star Danny Pintaro revealed that he oh. had been living with HIV for <laughs> okay. twelve years. For, forget it. I, I, I have old news. Uh, that's that's old news. Technically, okay, sorry, I have new news. <laughs> well, the phones are lit. Should we play? Uh, sure not. I mean, just guess the star. Everyone's gonna be doing that anyway. Yeah. And we'll wind up. We'll probably wind up eliminating a lot of people. Boy, wow! The name will be out by the end of the day. It has to be now. Maybe. It'll be out by the end of the day. The, the, in this world we live in, someone's yeah. going to say, "Fuck it, I'm I'm doing it." And we are. Be, I'm being nosy. I really, it's none of my business. The key to this is is determining the religious movie star because that sort of unlocks everything. I think. Well, who's a religious movie star? I don't know. A female dated a religious movie star. Right, a female religious movie star. I don't even know what what's a religious movie. Like, are they talking the religious movies oh. where only the Christians watched? Uh, I think religious. Or, or is it a blockbuster religious movie? Wait, hold on. No, I thought the movie star religious is movie religious. Star. Yeah, it, the, the, yeah, the religious is describing the movie star because if it was the it would have said the star of a religious movie. If it was that, I, I think religious describes her. Yeah. Uh, the adjective is right before the. Oh boy, are we really going to just? Uh, uh, is right. it irresponsible? I, I I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't want to out somebody. Who's I don't know. No. Are we in a safe s spot here? I mean, look, we have no idea what it is. We have a lot to guess, but I mean, I think we're in a safe space, though. Um, it's all about safe space these days. Hold on, let me see here. Huh? I think I know. You think you know? Yeah. For real? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was my good acting from yesterday. That carried over. Really good. I hate these blind box items that they do this is a blind box item the stupid post does this all the time because they're not brave enough to actually print the name so they let you do all the guesswork i kind of think it's sleazy right yeah well maybe they're hoping that that uh that will start a chain reaction it gets uh somebody coming forward the government's gonna crack truth's on your <laughs> side on your, right <laughs> i don't know there's some names coming in I don't know. I, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, it's it's okay to read the article and kind of think to ourselves, but I don't know. It feels fucking sleazy, doesn't it? I, I don't know about what sleazy. What do you think, Jimmy? No, but, well, we don't know the answer. It's not like we're... I, I'm not revealing anything that's, that I know that's a secret. I have no idea. I literally I, have no fucking idea. I truly always hated those blind box items. I'm going to say it again. Yeah. I always hated when they did that shit. Because I'm like, you're... you're you're just a sleaze ball. Just fucking name the name then. You know who the person is, but you're not brave enough to do it, but you're going to put a, this little blurb in there and have people try to figure it out. Right? Yeah, I don't know. Somebody called in with a good name. This is going to be big news name. when it hits. If it comes out. I mean, you never know. I mean, It's coming out. You think? It sounds like it, it's, it's, it seems like it's like an Anthony Weiner situation where everyone saw the penis picture. And, uh, well, we were the ones that got it out there officially. Well, yeah, yeah, from, but, from but, a PR point of view, somebody's going to say... 
you got to get ahead of this, and so then they're going to try to right. come out first. No, it seems like a lot of people know who, who the person is, but no one's brave enough to actually go forward with Whoever it. Whoever calls a press conference, but was he a womanizer, Travis? Yeah. He's, he's got Betsy quite Travis the, is holding he's up a name. The past. Um, what was the name? Dudley Moore. And it's like he passed away already, and it wasn't of AIDS. Dudley Moore? Mm. It's a terrible guess. I'm I thought of him. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Oh, <laughs> wow. That won't even that, that was a splatter. Hold on. Let me, let me bounce it off the fucking nosy PI who probably has a second <laughs> okay, two days. Yeah, all right. Because <laughs> she's all about this. Oh, my God. She hates herself for it, too. She said that. <laughs> she hates herself. She hates herself for it. So she's at least acknowledging it. Yeah. That it's a bad thing to, to be into. Yeah. All right, uh, Jimmy's uh, texting the name. I texted her one name, and she's like, I checked him out already. Was, all right. Really? Yeah. All right. But uh, how is she figuring this out? She's just being nosy, going online, looking everybody up, uh, <laughs> looking up their ex-girlfriends. The key to the story uh, is that the person is scared his fans will turn ooh, on Oh, Travis, she said that's a good suggestion. Yeah. Whoa, she, she, really? She actually got excited. Ooh, good one. Let me <laughs> check it out. <laughs> the fucking creep she is. <laughs> She put her phone down and ran to her computer. Oh, yeah. She's Googling. I'm, I'm sure she'll get back to you soon on that. Really? That's a good one? Yeah. That's a good guess. Yeah, yeah, she wrote, I hate that I need to know. It should be private, and I should respect that. But instead, I spend most of the night looking at dating history of every male celebrity as if this was a riddle. It's like, yeah, I kind of get that. We're all a little nosy. We're all... If I knew, though, would I actually reveal it? Probably not. We're all that person. I would. I wouldn't... In some regard, them. right? Yeah. Ju juicy Hollywood gossip. Hmm. Who could it be? But is he a womanizer, though? Yes. Yeah. I can't hear you. You can't I hear me? You Travis. still can't hear me? Okay. He is? Okay. Maybe, Mars, maybe our engineer, engineer can come in? Is Mars... Uh... I'm saying that thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mars will, Mars will fix uh, Travis's mic. He gives us secret messages sometimes. Yeah. Oh. Secret, secret messages. I know. It's really, I'll be in the middle of talking, and I'll just hear, you're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I realize I could have just been my own, my own thoughts. <laughs> I miss the old days of E-Rock completely distracting me. Oh, my Because instead of telling me what he needs to tell me, we'll be in the middle of talking about something, and I'll hear this in my headphones, and no one else gets to hear it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have to say what on the air. Because that's how that works, right? So I'll go, what, in the middle of a, a discussion. He, he and then he'll go, your oatmeal's here. <laughs> <laughs> He's a blind item. That's what E-Rock is. He, is. he talks in blind item. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just whisper, your oatmeal's here, or whatever. The Which breakfast item just arrived for the host of one satellite radio show? Oatmeal. You're whispering. I can't see. Why is you. Justin? Why, you why is everybody whispering? He's whispering. We have a, a microphone in front of you. Over, away. Much to the chagrin of people. All right. What, why were you whispering? And what, <laughs> what are you whispering? That, tra that Travis's guess is, is like I'm going through, and it's sort of lining up with. It's lining up. Good. Yeah. Oh my God! Really? We could be the ones, guys. And he. Uh, let's say I believe he used to do. Uh, I used to believe he used to do drugs. Or maybe he still does, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, but it doesn't say he's he did drugs in this blind item. No, but I mean that could have been a way he Oh I'm just oh, ways to oh, oh sure, okay, yes. But it doesn't mention he was the coach on White Shadow, so my guess has been eliminated. <laughs> oh, oh man, man. You, you I I mean Ken Howard was one of my first thoughts. <laughs> That's good. That was a good guess. But uh, I, I I did because what happened, those guys are so in the media that somebody yeah. salami especially what's he, what's he on the Tonight Show every other week <laughs> that absolutely would have come out. There's yeah. no way you can keep a Ken Howard HIV rumor. Mm. Is he alive even? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, he he's is. like the head of the Screen Actors Union. Yeah, he's a big deal. deal. But it, why are you saying her? Is she religious or award winning? The one you're talking about, the actress, TV star. Oh okay. Yes. Well, well, can That's you... be years ago that they did it, right? Let me see the TV star. Oh, 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 I see what's going on here. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 mm. oh. Oh. No, he's married to Michelle Obama. That's a terrible <laughs> guess. That's a terrible guess. I'm just trying. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, I see. I can hear you. Uh, he tra he, he's uh, he's holding up. He, Justin's holding up his little air computer, and I've never wanted to see something slip out of someone's <laughs> hand so badly. Just, just the crash of that fucking two thousand dollar item. <laughs> just a nice crack across the screen would be wonderful for everyone. Yeah, but he's worried about legal action for women. Like, was he? Did he have HIV and not tell people, or did he not know at a time? I would assume. Why that's, am I asking? Who knows? I would assume that's what's going on here. 
fucking that, hen I am. That he could, pr they could probably prove that he got the you know news a few years ago, and then there might have been a a gal in there or two after the fact. Hmm. Mm hmm. All right. He's been married a while. Yeah, that's probably not uh, good. No, and the the part that I was trying to tell you before when you couldn't hear me was that the article says he's scared that his fans will turn on him. Turn on him, and that's a person who I feel would feel like that. Wow. Mm, maybe, yeah. Because some of the other guesses that that we had this morning, I don't see them worrying about like fans turning on them. Right. You know. But this this guy. one, all, Detective Aidy is onto another uh, another person here. Look at the last name there. Just see. I know this is probably horrible radio for people. We're just playing guess. We, I, I don't know. I kind of like it. So your ex wrote back. That's pretty good too. She wrote yes. back. Yeah, but she said the person we're talking about has been married for quite a while and has. It's probably not him. So what's the what's the other one? Um, no, what's the one she just? Yeah, I'll, 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 can you hand this to? Can, can you read what she said except for the name? That'd be uh, that'd be fun. Blank is my second suspect. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's what t it's 420 the last name it's 420 in la what is she doing tell her to go to bed uh whoa wow okay hmm you think i don't know i don't know much about that person as far as you know thank you Kenny. yeah that's not a bad suggestion who who uh he uh dated i bet you we have boston uh no roland no what happened it's a terrible guess what happened? Yes. I don't like Roland's guess. What was his guess? I'm not going to say, but it's a member of a band that I happen to like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that's why they're not doing a new album. Oh, no, not that band. Oh, okay. No. No? No. Oh, the other band. Yeah, it's not Ozzy. Jesus. The other band. I see. Okay, well, we can move on from that for now, I guess. Unless yeah, they would have said musician. Unless your PI gets back to you were yeah, there any, in L.A. Were there good suggestions on the callers? Yeah, I'm sure Detective Creepy will get back in touch very shortly. Yeah, they're all over the place. Kind of like us. Yeah. They're, on, they're on the same page as us. They're yeah. all over the place. So, Who's were, been rumored as a celebrity to be uh, to dip into both pools, as it were? Mm, well, Either drugs or... It's yeah. hard to catch just from a woman. There's a few that, uh, there's a few that pop up immediately, so... And it's the same names everyone else is thinking about out there. Right. Yeah. We don't want to get sued. No. It's a very There's scary. A horrible guest that is on the screen right now. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't say. It's, uh, it's not on my screen. It's not a Hollywood person. No, it's not even close to a Hollywood person. Oh. I'll put it Sirius there. XM. I just see the computer. Maybe it's Ed Asner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you guys uh, see the debate last night? Yes. Yeah. Did you watch it, Jimmy? I did not. No, I forgot it was on until somebody texted me while I was uh, just fucking... What was I watching? I was watching a Netflix documentary on cancer by Ken Burns. Wow. That I was kind of crying during. It's about, it's about the history of cancer. Wow. That's what Ken Burns is up to these days? Uh, yeah, but it's awesome. It's about leukemia. and it's, a, it's, a, it's a, This is part one. It's two hours. And it, it, it's supposedly not as depressed. Like they, there's a lot on childhood cancer in this first one. It's very sad. Yeah. But they're talking about just the advancing uh, leukemia medications. And Ken Burns is a goddamn good documentary maker. I'm, what, I'm saying to the shock of no one. But. Was, was he using the Ken Burns effect? No, you you know what he did that I thought was cool though. There's a lot of footage of like old leukemia awards. Yeah. And they're showing it in color. And then I realized, oh, he must have colorized this. Yeah. These are like probably 1947, 1948. Clips oh, that he colorized yeah. and just made interesting, and then he left some black and white, and it's very interesting how you know how cancer became somewhat treatable, mm -hmm. and how you keep looking back on stuff and realizing like, oh my god, it was the dark ages in the 1950s. Oh my god, that was like a, a definite death uh, sentence. Yeah, leukemia. They said had a hundred percent mortality rate. Hundred you know, percent at one point for kids. Yeah. Wow. And how kids get leukemia sometimes from the treatment because of. Uh, the uh, I, I guess what, whatever the radiation does, but it's again I'm only I'm, I'm about an, an hour and twenty minutes into the first episode. So, but they said it's, it's fairly. It shows you how far we're coming with it and how well it's moving along. Yeah, but we're that childhood there. cancer shit is fucking depressing, man. That's a motherfucker. It's a and these doctors that work with that all the time. It's, I don't know how you get used to that. I, I honestly don't know. I don't know how you go to work every day. I guess because there's a lot of uh, kids that do you know do very well, but. 
He he knows how to he knows how to film a photograph. That guy. Ken yes, Burns. he does. He's amazing. He's terrific at it. It's yes. amazing with those slow fades. Terrible haircut. Well, wow. terrible haircut. You? You finally no, 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 made no, it. Not me. My hair looks fantastic. I, I don't know what your hair is. My hair looks fantastic. We were trying to talk him into getting a mullet yesterday. This is Justin Stengel. I'm not. Why don't you? You I'm should not... get a mullet. Uh, no. Troy's all about it. He really wants you to get a mullet. I'm going to grow my hair. <laughs> Troy. What, what does that mean? Huh? <laughs> How is that convincing you? Troy knows fashion. No, I know. Oh, yeah. Troy knows this shit. Yeah, I'm just going to grow my hair a little longer, and then I, I'm, I'm happy where it is. Just a little longer. Yeah, right. Uh, the debates, uh, nothing special there, really. No. I think uh, I th I personally think Bush is done. I think he is too. I think Jeb he has Bush to pull is out. done. He just does not look presidential, and he's extremely qualified. This guy, but he's just a dud up there. Yeah, it's sad. it's sad he can't embrace the fact that he is somewhat of a boring person. Because as a president, you don't necessarily have to be like a rock star. You kind of do. Well, but if he... If Think he, about the presidents we've had in general. They're always somebody with a big personality. You kind of need a big personality. But if he just sat there and he was just like, you know, it just said, look, I know these facts. This is what I would do. This, and embraced his nerdiness. He would at least be doing better than trying to put on hoodies and, and acting all cool and everything. Well, he's panicking and he's trying yeah. too hard now. But he's, he's, it's, he's not going to be our president. You know what you uh, think of the president, too? Like, how would I feel about that? I've been thinking about this, too. How would I feel about this person giving me news? Right. Mm -hmm. Like, whether, whether it was a, a mass kit, like a, the kids getting shot. Like, you know, I thought Obama did a great job with that, you yeah. know. It felt presidential and honest. Yes. Well, Reagan. That speech so, Reagan uh, gave after the space shuttle disaster. Yeah, it was a little tasteless, though, when he came out and he goes, look, I know we're all tempted to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was unnecessary. <laughs> but it was the, amazing. Yeah, or Bush, even after 9-11, I thought. He was you know, pretty good. Yeah. You just, you just kind of wonder. Then you think of, like, how would I feel about this? Not that that's everything, but it, you think about it. Yeah, yeah absolutely, you do. I, I, I think we look for a guy that's got kind of a personality. Yeah. Um, a little personality in there as well. Um, I, I don't know who's going to step forward. I, don't, I just don't know. Although if Bush won, he says so many fucking stupid things, he would be entertaining. Right. Like, he trips on his own dick all the time, and yeah. it would be fun to watch. Ben Carson wasn't impressive last night. Um, Donald Trump was not impressive last night. They were... They were just uh, talk. They they were just leaving them in the dust as they were debating all these uh, all these things on the on the. Has he said last anything night. policy wise? It's interesting. Uh, or no? I mean, it's uh, when he talks policy, it's extremely vague. And then these guys just have numbers. Yeah, I don't even know if the numbers are right. I'm, right. I'm, I'm going to sit here and t you know tell you the truth, but they got numbers and they sound like they they've studied this shit and then. And then uh, Trump is just vague, like, yeah, I'm going to build that wall, stuff like that. We're losing to China. Did you say that again? Uh, yes, it's it's the same sound bites over and over again. I think he was in over his head last night, uh, Donald Trump. Don't you guys? He seemed disinterested to me. I, I don't think it was disinterested. I think he was thinking, oh, fuck, I can't keep up with these guys tonight. Yeah, but it's not like the other ones were just like... Because th when they were doing the debate where they were name-calling and stuff... You know, Trump should have shut his mouth because those debates were perfect for him. Right. And now everyone has decided we got to take this more serious and talk policy and talk about your tax plan and, 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 and your foreign policy plan and this and that. And Trump was just, he was smirking the whole time with those lips and those squinty right. eyes. And he was, he was keeping his mouth shut for the, for the most part. I sort of got the feeling that, that since Ben Carson is the one closest to Trump in the numbers and whatever, that Trump was sort of sitting back, with all, with all the negative attention going towards Ben Carson, Trump was just sitting back waiting for Ben Carson to implode. And I'm also wondering if it's like when you're that far ahead, they're that far ahead of the other guys, Yeah, yeah. let them fight it out and just don't say anything right. stupid. So the worst that's going to happen is you drop a couple of points, right. whereas if you say something fucking ridiculous, mm -hmm. you could lose a lot more. You might, you, you, if you're already so far ahead and you only have one guy next to you, Who's, uh, you know, who's fucking half his resume is probably, you know, stuffy embellished. Uh, yeah. That's probably not fair to Ben Carson. I just made that up. Well, I, don't <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> he, he responded really, yeah. to that. This is how politics night. are. We really don't that, know what we're talking that, about, and we just comment. That, well, right. just like anyone else, though. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Even the fucking people on all these news channels, they don't, they don't know what the fuck they're saying either. Yeah. Well, Ben Carson responded to all the criticism about people. Yeah, we have that clip? Yeah, we have it. Yeah, let's, uh, let's play that for the people. Mediate. You 
You recently railed against the double standard in the media, sir, that seems obsessed with inconsistencies and potential exaggerations in your life story, but looked the other way when it came to then-Senator Barack Obama's. Still, as a candidate whose brand has always been trust, are you worried your campaign, which you've always said, sir, is bigger than you, is now being hurt by you? Uh, well, first of all, uh, thank you for not asking me what I said in the 10th grade. I appreciate that. <laughs> but, uh, he pauses. You know what? That's I understand that he doesn't want to be nitpicked, mm -hmm. and he is a really smart dude. But if you lied about almost getting a scholarship or being offered a scholarship to West Point, yeah. that's a big credibility thing. I'm sorry. I'm a fucking high school dropout. I don't lie about it. Yeah. But they're saying that it, what, maybe it wasn't an official offer, but it was like, hey, you know, you're good enough to come oh, to West okay. Point. That's what he's uh, trying to spin it as, I believe. Yeah, so. yeah caught bullshit, and it happens. And Just you know what? That. Then you shouldn't be president of the United States because they're going to go after you the entire fucking time. you got to show that you can handle this stuff. Yeah. Well, he's handled it pretty well, though, I guess. I lied about going to uh, Harvard uh, pre-med, and yeah. people caught me. <laughs> <laughs> but they're okay with that. They're okay with it. They caught me. They've saw past that. Yeah. They're like, look, we've talked to you. You're stupid. I'm like, all right. <laughs> you win. You got me. Were uh, you examining people? What's that? Well, you said you went You went to pre-med? I said pre-law. Oh, they said pre-med. No. I meant pre-law. But were you examining people? Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was. In my car. I was taking my pointy, like, my pointer fingers, and I had to let the nails grow. Yeah. And I would, like, open their assholes, and then just use my nails to hold the skin Man. open, and I would examine it. <laughs> Where's Voss and Bonnie? I don't know. Don't get here. Uh, hit it. I'll just forget that follow-up. <laughs> the, the, the fact of the matter is, you know, what we, we we should vet all candidates. I have no problem with being vetted. What I do have a problem with is being lied about, and then uh, putting that out there as truth. And. I don't even mind that so much if they do it about, with everybody, like people on the other side. But, you know, when I look at somebody like Hillary Clinton, Hillary uh, Clinton. who... He sounds like he's on fucking Xanax. Yeah, he absolutely does. That's just how he talks. I mean, for a, you know what? For a brain surgeon, you probably got to talk that way. You don't want a brain surgeon that's like, I think we're going to be fine. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you don't want a brain surgeon with a lot of energy. No, just imagine he has those tiny little tools in his head. You want him to talk very softly. Yeah, a smart, very softly. measured man. Yes. So uh, we shouldn't have a problem with this. You're right. I don't like it when they do that. That's how you want. Like it looks to me like this vein could be closing. Right. Let me open this up. Could you right. please close this? Yeah. You don't want a guy who's just gonna fly off the handle. What the fuck? <laughs> right. <laughs> you want a guy who's got some 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 really cool <laughs> even energy. Hand me that brain tool. Yes. Could you hand me that? I wish I knew the tools. Oh, no. Hand me the brain, a brain tool. tool. Yeah, could you hand me those clamps? Give me another brain tool. Uh, and and tells her daughter and a government official that no this was a terrorist attack and then tells everybody else that it was a video where i came from they call that a lie and uh... where'd you come from i i think that's very different from you know somebody misinterpreting when i said Ugh. that i was offered a scholarship to west point that's the words that they use. But I've had many people come and say the same thing to me. That's what people do in those situations. We have to start treating people the same and finding out what people really think and what they're made of. And people who know me know that I'm an honest person. Thank you, Dr. Carson. All right. Hey, hey, he answered that well, right? Yeah. Uh, you see his hands, they don't shake at all either. Yeah, he, puts you'd hope, him, you'd he, puts, he puts them up in the air and it's like a statue. Yeah, you'd hope that too. Anyone that's going into the brain, you'd really hope it. Yeah. You don't want to be talking to your, your fucking, you're like, I don't know what's going to happen. He's at the desk going, like, we're going to have to go in and do it. Yeah. But then, oh shit, I spilled my coffee. <laughs> oh, could you bring in a towel? <laughs> 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 fucking old Hepburn hands, you know, you don't Ollie. You don't want those hands moving at all until he's ready to move them. No, you're right. That is a measured, uh, even guy. Oh my God. Guy. I would love hands like that. Just like, ah. Um, the the other big highlight, I guess, was Trump being booed. 
he told Carly basically to shut up. Carly was uh, interrupting everybody, and then uh, was she? Yeah, she was. She's her fucking Harry Dean Stanton face. Can she <laughs> stop interrupting everybody? Ah, uh, she's hateable. But everybody was interrupting everybody. Ooh, someone's playing devil's advocate. <laughs> <laughs> she's hateable though, right? She doesn't smile. I would hate her as a boss. Yeah, she's playing a rough one. You, you got to think she's got a strap on, right? You'd have to hope. <laughs> she's got a strap on. You're making me like her. <laughs> uh, was Chris Christie there? Chris Christie was in the uh, the, the undercard. The he undercard, got uh, which I watched. It was like it was like watching minor league baseball. Yeah. You're kind of watching because maybe some of these guys are going to go up to the big leagues, but yeah, it's still minor league baseball. Who was it? It was Santorum. Santorum. Christy, Huckabee, Huckab Huckabee, and Bobby Jindal, and, and Jindal, right? Oh. They were the undercard. So, all right, play the Trump clip. Everyone's talking about this one today. Respond to the accusation. We should. Uh, I think it's particularly naive and particularly foolish to think that we're not going to talk to Russia. The idea of a no-fly zone. Realize that this is also something Hillary Clinton agrees with several on our side with. You're asking for a no-fly zone in an area in which Russia already flies. Russia flies in that zone at the invitation of Iraq. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but you better know at least what we're getting into. So when you think it's going to be a good idea to have a no-fly zone of Iraq, realize that means you are saying we are going to shoot down Russian planes. If you're ready for that, be ready to send your sons and daughters to another war in Iraq. I don't want to see that happen. I think the first war in Iraq was a mistake. Yeah. It's coming. He's okay. a smart guy. You can be strong. I thought Rand Paul did well last night. Every civil war around the world. Ronald and how Reagan, would you respond? Ronald Reagan was strong, but Ronald Reagan didn't. And Ronald Reagan walked away at Reykjavik. He walked away. He quit talking. Can I finish when it was time? time to quit can I finish talking? With my time? Why does she keep interrupting everybody? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like to finish. I'd like to finish my response. <laughs> Are they bullying Trump or her interrupting? They're bullying Trump. You know, Why? This is an <laughs> important question. Because it's the world we live in now. Because he's just stirring shit. <laughs> Why does she keep interrupting everybody? <laughs> that's hilarious. And then he goes terrible. That, that's that's, that's why people terrible. like him. Because that's you want to say to her with a dumb, smooth face, will you shut it for five minutes? <laughs> her face that doesn't move? Oh, my God. It's awful. She's like fucking, she's like a, a piece of white African art. Yeah. We were in a safe space. That's why. Uh, oh, that's yours. why, you know, Donald Trump should have known we were in a safe space. And you don't say things like that when you're in a safe space. Right, guys? That's right. I don't disagree. And then what? She was on the red carpet responding they, to Trump's thing? Yeah, they asked her about it. I do not like this, broad. She's still doing well in the polls. I guess so, right? She's doing okay. When Donald Trump, I don't know, told you to stop interrupting or asked why you they have were a red interrupting carpet? so much. Um, what did you make of that? Well, you know, people have been interrupting all night, actually. But you know, this is sort of typical of Mr. Trump. I mean, Mr. Trump uh, hurls insults at lots of people. That was, can you pause? That wasn't an insult. That was a fair question. Yeah. You babbling, no moving face lady. Yeah, that's not an insult. Yeah. I don't like the fact that your face and neck move at two different speeds. <laughs> Make a decision. Are you old or are you young? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking have all the work done or have none of it done. But don't have half of it done yeah, and then yeah. expect me not to go. Ah! You, you got to go all in. <laughs> yeah. All right. Look, getting older stinks, dude. I don't like it either. But you think I don't I don't look at my face now and realize, ah, oh, you're not the same. What's wrong with your face? No, it's fucking beautiful. But I'm just saying in general, you see the wrinkles, you see the lines. Well, it gives you, like, what do they say? Character. 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 I have a big announcement to make, too. What? Fucking radar line picked it up. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> what? All right, push play on oh, this. Oh. Talking about Ben Carson's biography is a fabrication. Uh, Mr. Trump's platform seems to be great, and everyone else is a loser. And frankly, I think a lot of people are tired of it. Do you think gender had anything to do with it? Well, he paused, no. It became, why, a lot of why? people are not tired of it. That he's still doing well in the polls. He's He was leading but, uh, going into that debate last night. But what, is, what, is the, what does gender have to do? Do you think gender... like stop, you're, As a reporter, you're not supposed to be leading with your own que like agenda. Mm. Why would the gender have anything to do with him going, why does she keep interrupting? Uh, yeah, exactly. 
Let's see what she says. A lot of people are tired of it. Do you think gender had anything to do with it? Well, you ask yourself. You know, people were interrupting each other all night long. And suddenly when I make a point, Mr. Trump has to say, well, I wonder why she... Why does that thing with a clit have to keep talking? <laughs> so, yeah, maybe you're right. Why does that two-breasted thing with a clit keep yapping? You think he negotiates with women, Donald Trump, in general? Yeah, I mean, look, in that world yeah. where you're... He you probably gotta, has no choice, but... Yeah. yeah. I would imagine he, he would prefer to deal with a man in He's the He's run into people like her before. She, oh, sure. And she's probably hard to negotiate with. Because to be a woman that high up, you're probably a motherfucker. Like, you know, you're, you're probably not easy to get over on. Oh, you would never ha want to have a meeting with this one. She would have no problem firing you. Yeah, probably not. She would make it very easy. Go ahead, let's push play. Well, I wonder why she keeps interrupting, but it's typical of him. That's the point. It's typical. He finds a reason to insult virtually everyone he stands on the stage with eventually. Tonight it was my turn. Uh, not a bad answer. Well, and why shouldn't you insult people you're on the stage with? See, to me, you guys are all debating. You're insulting each other yeah. in a roundabout way, you're and then you like each other. You're insulting each other's intelligence because you go after their plans and stuff like, oh, that's stupid. Yeah. So why not get down and dirty? You'll accuse each other of lying. You'll accuse each other of having terrible tax plans. Right. That is insulting, but then all of a sudden you'll go like, well, you know. Why does she keep interrupting? It's terrible. Can I hear that again? The best part is the terrible. That brings it home. <laughs> and I don't know why the people would <laughs> boo. I would laugh at that. Hold on. Iraq e had a very funny text. He just yeah. sent me a text. He said, Carly looks like the goon from Popeye. <laughs> That's oh, pretty, my God. Good yes. call, Eric. Very good. Uh, just get to, yeah, the, get to the, the, the Donald end. Trump part. I, I, I got to hear that one more time. Stunt Brain was going to call in and talk about the debate, but uh, I, I told him to call. He says nothing major. Rubio, big winner. Uh, uh, the, the dude from Ohio, how do you say his name? Kasich. Kasich, right. Kasich. Uh, oh, I fucking scratch it. <clears throat> Kasich, uh, Bush, and Paul losers in the debate last night, according to Stunt Brain. Rubio, big winner. Yeah. Good old young Rubio. That's, that's good. Two, that's two in a row for him. I think he's getting the momentum. Yeah, good. You guys uh, you guys stick with him. He'll do good. <laughs> All right, push play. He walked away. He quit talking Can I finish when it was time? time to quit Can I finish talking. With my time? Why does she keep interrupting everybody? Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, I'd like to finish <laughs> Terrible. Like to finish my response, basically. <laughs> I may respond. This is an important you know, question. This, this is an incredibly important question. <laughs> they boo him. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Anything else from the debate? No, mm. we got to go back and play this Jeb Bush clip. Oh, the, uh, the, the baby Hitler thing, right? Yeah. He should never have commented on this. Why? Because there's no... He can't that... look good answering the question, would you go back and kill baby Hitler? Well, let's see how... Who we... asked him? Like, what kind of question is that? That was from, was it New York Magazine or New but, York Times? But that's a no-win answer. Exactly. Yeah, well, he answered it. I mean, it's a terrific. Heard, uh, you're here to talk about your emails. So, oh. But, uh, your email address on Reddit today, is that right? I don't know if it's Reddit or not, but good God. What's the, uh, what's the funniest or most bizarre email that you've got? So, I'll just, I'll... <laughs> I gotta figure out which ones are not X-rated. That's the, <laughs> that's the only problem. <laughs> yeah. He's improving. Baby Hiller. We have a request for Baby Hiller. I said if you could go back in time and kill Baby Hiller, would you? Oh, he offered that. Yeah, he yes. brought it up. I, the nerve. I, I'm thinking it's the reporter. He mentioned that. Yes, because he was looking at his emails and they they asked for the craziest email, request basically. For baby Hiller. I said if you could go back in time and kill Baby Hiller, would you? I need to know. And crazy. Hell yeah, I would. Even if he was really cute. No, look, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta step up, man. I mean, that's well said. Crazy. Oh God, <laughs> you gotta step up. How fucking he's a terrible. I, I want him to win. Really I am now no, look, Team gotta, Jeb Bush. You gotta step up. <laughs> this fucking <laughs> tripping idiot. Jesus, you gotta step up and kill baby. Hitler, you gotta, man. but he's right though. He, that's a good answer. You should kill baby Hitler. Who wouldn't? Well, he's cute. But Throw him into the oven. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> killed six million people. Step on him. But do you know he's going to kill six million people? Or are you just killing baby Hitler? Well, I mean, I think the implication is that you know that You're he's going. Now. You have to. Yeah. Why say, would you... That's like saying, would you just go out and kill a random baby in case he grows up yes. to rule the world? Well, I, I wish they asked a the follow-up. How would you kill baby well, Exactly. Yeah. He keeps talking, and he probably shouldn't have kept talking. Yes. And crazy. Hell yeah, I would. <laughs> Even if he was really cute? No, look, you gotta, you gotta, 
got to step up, man. I mean, that's, <laughs> that would be key. Problem with going back in history and doing that is, as we know from the uh, series, what was the name of the Michael Fox movies? Uh, <laughs> back to the Future, it has a, it could have a dangerous effect on, on everything There's else. A lot so. to consider it. But I'd do it. I mean, okay. oh, and then he says right there, you imagine six million more Jews, you're competing for banking jobs and all that. I mean, it, it really could go to, you know, sometimes you got to look and take the good with the bad. <laughs> oh, he's just, you got to step up. He's just a bland. He's just a dud. He's Melba toast. He's a wet sponge. A wet sponge. And not a, not, I was saying earlier before the show, not a warm sponge. No. You know, when you grab that sponge, if it's warm and wet, you're yeah. sort of okay with it. But when it's cold and... Yeah, ugh. a nice warm scrub that you can sink your dick into. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. What, 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 what? Uh, all right. That's it for the debate. That's it for the baby Hitler. I am researching the hell out of this A-list celebrity thing. I just keep sending names to Jimmy to send... For oh, you're send. one of those gossip Yeah, but the girls. one you said, two of them you sent me are comedians, and uh, they would have been... It would have said funny or comedian. Yeah, but one of them is definitely... In the... Uh, let me see what I sent you. The last one's definitely A list. Yeah, and but he's not. He's not seen as a woman either. Mm. And his ex girlfriends don't match up. Yeah, fatty Arbuckle. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, the coworker uh, crushed from yesterday. That video. Oh yeah. I want to see that, too. We didn't get to a lot of this stuff yesterday because Kevin Brennan was just naming names. Kevin was hilarious. He was, a, he was great yesterday on the show. I can't wait to have him back. Check him out. He's at the in Atlantic City. I forget the name of the club. Butch Bradley's Comedy Club or something. Yeah. Kevin's a really funny comedian. So if you're down in AC this weekend, check him out. It, it would be worth uh, your time. Uh, a co-worker crushes mechanic when pulling into the bay. I hear this is brutal. Could you play this? Mm-hmm. We're tweeting out these videos. This is just, oh, this Follow is a, on Twitter. A, a warehouse footage. Uh oh. Uh, Why would you just stand there? Oh! Ah! Ah! Mike, ah! Myers, let's get Mike Myers. Oh. Oh. God. Ah! Ah! Oh. Don't do that! Did he say don't do that? Is, that, is, that is he speaking English? I don't know. I, I believe I saw it. Was that Chinese? I think I saw it. Say, Chinese on the wall. Look at that. Look, shot. At, look at the guys just looking at him. <laughs> Nothing bothers Asians. It's so weird. Look at how they're handling the situation. Wow. Well, Back to work. Nothing bothers them. Uh, ah! Ah! <laughs> is there a follow up? What happened to this guy? He's still laying there yelling. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to pull He's in. He's pulling in, and then you can hear what it is. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's revving it. Back up, you fuck. The guy's revving it, panicking. So bad to that. And then the two Asian guys casually come in. They're this guy's in, at in a bed in a bad place and they're just staring at him showing no emotion wouldn't you be screaming if you saw that could you play that again? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think that's asshole in training. it sounds like don't do that oh. What? <laughs> what happened to this guy? Is there any follow-up? Is I mean, he's all right, but he's got to have a. Oh, this, you broke the boat. This guy's just staring at him. <laughs> this is the weirdest video. <laughs> the Why is that guy just staring at him? Why wouldn't you try to help him or show emotion or something? It's not like Larry. You okay? He's just standing there staring at the guy on the floor. <laughs> One more time, because it sounds like don't do that. Listen for the don't do that. Wow. Oh, holy shit.
shit. You're not. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Anyone know what happened to that guy? I'll try to look it up. What do you think he broke? His hip? Oh. No, he was actually... His upper legs? His femur bone, probably. Let's see where it lines up. He was supposed to be on Dancing with the Stars this year <laughs> with uh, him and Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't be more casual with his clipboard. They're bringing in uh, the car to the bay to work on it. <laughs> the guy revs it right into him. He had no idea his face was about to bounce off the hood. Right. Like, there he goes. Wow, that was a rough one. And, and he's up against one of those heavy metal cabinets that hold all the tools right oh and he's in between that and the car uh. <laughs> that's funny uh, you're supposed to laugh at that stuff right yeah. yeah he's alive i mean it stinks but well if, if you don't know the person it makes yeah. it easier to laugh at the noise he makes though my god <laughs> All right, we got a busy show. I don't know where Rich Voss and Bonnie are. Not here yet. What the not fuck? here They're yet. They're supposed to be here 49 minutes ago. They're not here yet. Not here. Something's probably up, or maybe they overslept or whatever. That's not like them at all. I hope they're all right. Maybe they're in the middle of a fight. Uh, Tom Segura is coming in today. Ian Edwards. We got a very busy show. I have announcements to make. Let's make some announcements. Everyone knows I'm in Erie uh, Friday, Saturday, but I have a pre sale today. For upcoming shows, uh, this is not the tour. These are just some shows I'm doing. New Year's Eve, I will be in Providence, Rhode Island at the Comedy Connection. It's my first time in Providence in many years. Um, the pre-sale is today at 10 a.m. I'm doing my first gig ever in Birmingham, Alabama. Wow. Everyone's been yelling at me to go down there and do the Stardom. I'm there January 8th and 9th, and I return to Atlanta. I think there's a new improv there, January 14th, 15th, 16th. The pre-sale code word is just Norton. It's a shitty word. That makes, yeah, you want an easy word, though. Yeah, so that's New Year's Eve in uh, Rhode Island, Birmingham, Alabama, January 8 and 9, and Atlanta, January 14, 15, 16. Nice. Opie Radio Doc Series, Episode 5, now on iTunes. Go get that. Also, today is Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. yes. I know that. Yes, yeah. we should have been No, why today. is it up there? A lot of people are Why did I put it up there? Yeah, I know it's Veterans Day. I didn't. I bow to the veterans. Yeah, they help the animals. I used to, uh, no, no, no. my dad would, would uh, march in those parades. He was always proud. Not there pride. In no. Oh, okay. <laughs> in Kings Park. But wait, isn't today like a national holiday? With all the old guys and, uh, yeah. Shouldn't we not be working? I don't know. It's one of those weird holidays. Like my kids have off? I don't think there's mail today. Yeah, my kids have off. That's why I'm here. Oh, smart. Very smart. <laughs> to get a few hours off. Yeah, very smart. Um... There was something else. Oh, the minimum wage thing, man. We we got to talk about that. Rich Voss just arrived. You're late. You guys are an hour late. late. Yes, you are. You were scheduled for 7 o'clock. So 7 on our uh, sheet. Oh, well, you know what's weird? Uh, what's weird? Uh -oh. We, at the hotel, usually parking in New York, you have to be out by 7 o'clock. So that's why we're always here at 7. The one fucking place we parked, I could have stayed there all day for free. But, but it, it, right across from the hotel, but I, I still took it and put it in the parking lot. And, I, and Bonnie goes, no, it's 8 o'clock. And I said, I think it's 7, but, you know, <laughs> broads aren't broads. Where's Bonnie? She's coming up. Okay. Sorry right. we're late. I'm not, I'm very, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always on time. <laughs> <laughs> but there was free breakfast at the hotel. You're and drinking Holiday Inn coffee. Yeah, that's where we were staying, you know. It would but have been New Ramada York. coffee if we stayed at the Ramada. But it's New York. You can get a nice cup of coffee in New York. Yeah, I know Is you that can. good coffee? Probably the best coffee I've ever had in my life. Oh, we got an update on the... Must the, be free. We have an update yeah. on the coffee cups. Oh, what's going on with them now? A big update on the coffee cups. Starbucks is for a while to save money. They're taking the bottoms out. And they said they want you to fill it to the side and then just balance it. <laughs> Are they not letting Jews buy coffee this year? Is that well, mm -hmm. now you could go to Starbucks and get a cup of coffee comfortably because they don't have all that uh, Christmas stuff on their cups. They're both wrong. Every goddamn... But then Dunkin' Donuts said, fuck that, and they... they they put all sorts of Christmas stuff on their cups. Oh, they're so smart. I'm a Dunkin' Donuts guy anyhow. Oh, more. Huh? I just want to take a picture of you. 
Why? Because you look like a leprechaun in that jacket, that hat, and those green pants. Oh, yeah? You got yes. green pants on? Yes, he does. That's the update, right? Dunkin' Donuts said, look, Correct. if Starbucks doesn't want to deal with this Christmas stuff, we will. Pretty smart. And what's on their cups? It says joy. Yes, two people booing a Jew. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dunkin' uh, recently, let me see that. Go down. Uh, Dunkin' recently released their holiday cups, which some think are more festive than the bland red Starbucks cups that they're using this year. Bonnie McFarlane, how are you? Hi. hi, Bonnie. We're going to break, actually, but sit down and say oh, hi. Just, yeah, I just want to just publicly thank Kenny for s staying down there with me while I had some problems getting up. Uh, uh, did he? You know, yeah, my new husband. He's my new husband because I, my old husband came right up to get on the he air. He just was like, I got, I, I got, I might be able to plug a couple. He, he let. Speaking of problems he, getting up last night, wait, he, he hold on. He left wait, you. He down left there? you in the lobby. She told yeah, me yeah, go yeah, up. Yeah. Oh he said, my god. She said go upstairs. Don't fucking. So you were in the system. She was, and you say, well, that's not my problem. And went upstairs. Came right up. You can't put <laughs> your wife in the lobby. <laughs> huh? Did somebody come down for you, and then he just took off. You can't yeah. ditch your wife in the lobby. Uh, I found her in a lobby. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I can't believe you guys laughed at that. That was pretty funny. That, well, was, that was kind of funny. What, what it was, lobby? It was funny. What lobby? Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm uh, on your side, but that was kind of funny. Oh, you're going to break it? Oh, whoa. Let me break it down. Well, who's going to be on my side so we can have an even team look. here today? <laughs> guys, pick your, pick your sides. Did Rich get mad that you came in by yourself last time? No. Oh, jeez. Do you think you... Who's here with me today? Yeah. First yeah. of all, no, no he's not going to let that happen first again. All, first, hold on. Let me tell you something. <laughs> is that what happened? No, not You're at not all. You're not going to let her come in by herself no, anymore? No, she can come in. Because this I, is your safe s space? No, no, not anymore. I don't like it here. He uh, said, this is my thing. <laughs> this is, first of all, I have to this go. This is I'm, my thing. I'm working Rochester to, this weekend, so I go, well, I got to go in because I was supposed to go into Rochester tonight and I can't go. Right. So I go, I got to put. And these, when are you, you playing know, Rochester? This weekend, fr Thursday through so Saturday. So won't you be up there later this week? I'll be up Thursday and do Wee's fr Friday, but they wanted me to do Wee's Thursday and Friday. So you're good. Wee's will, will, will sell that place out for you. And, and the owner's going, no, Thursday's the only good day to do radio. Come on, get the fuck, what are you telling me? Right? Thir Thursday or Friday. It's not like people in Rochester are. A big plan. They're gonna come out and see you. You didn't. You're, I know. You're panicking. You didn't I'm have not to be panicking. here today. We're we're happy you're here, but you didn't have to be here today. I'm leaving at ten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying you're panicking. You're gonna be fine in Rochester. Yeah. Because I heard you wanted to come in because you were worried about Rochester tickets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be fine. That's really what what he's worried about. <laughs> no, yeah. you think it's other things. Rochester. What do you think? That's my thing. He said that. No. I brought you in. Oh yeah. No. I brought everybody in. I brought Patricia. In. You know, oh, Dice God. Board, Dice did Board Patrice Norton. ever do it without you? Oh, yeah, 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 I think he did. Ah, ah that's true. You didn't know he's making it. Listen, a big deal, so you're doing it. We're doing it at the same time. lucky. Days. What's he's that? Dead. <laughs> huh? He doesn't have to fucking deal with you. Do you so you don't think Rich wanted you to come in by yourself that's again? That's not true. She could come in once a week by herself. I do radio. We had Bonnie uh, booked, and then uh, and, Rich, and then we heard that Rich wanted Rich to come in as well on. because uh, tickets in Rochester weren't doing well, which no. I found silly because Brother Louise is the king up there, and he's going to sell. Well, because I'm not gonna doing sell it out your, He's going to sell out that place for you. Don't worry about it. Listen, or you're going to do extremely well. They when I lately I they, when I wore clubs, they have to curtain off the second row. So I just want a crowd <laughs> this week. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. <laughs> you eat your healthy breakfast, you guys? You're yeah. still not eating sugar? No. Well, I mean... I'm... How are you? Yeah, how are you? <laughs> oh, my God. We're going to take a break and regroup. Stay there. <laughs> we got Bonnie McFarlane in studio and Rich Voss. And Tom Segura is outside the studio. We should bring him bring in him. as well. Um, there was some, oh, the, uh, the, the celebrity thing. You guys were trying to figure it out as well. I'm not. You don't care? It's, it really, I don't. It's just, you, know, you don't get into that gossip stuff? No, because nowadays it's not. Tom Segura. It's not Hi. as bad. What's going on, man? It's not as bad. Look at this, Bonnie. Now they're just moving it into our How territory. Huh? Just well, moving in. I don't think we've ever met. Have we ever met? No. 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 Nice to What's wrong with Tom Segura? There's not a thing wrong with Tom Segura. All right. We like not Tom Segura. Not a thing. I, I met Tom. I he likes the lady yeah. comics. Yeah. 
But, but I'm just at saying. Least one of them. I'm I don't just know about saying. Me. I think no. there's a beef <laughs> between you guys and Tom Segura no, because we he just, does a podcast with his wife. The, is that what's happening once here? We get on First of all, they got beef. what happened? They got they, beef. They, they, they started they beef, their right? podcast before us, but we've asked them to cease and desist. <laughs> they will not. <laughs> they will not quit doing it. You see, to get divorced or don't do the podcast. Yeah, I mean, it's like said. we're we've got this, you know. Yeah, um, you know, we're we're thinking about slowing it down because. <laughs> You know, like you, you, you guys made it known that we're copying your style. We're biting your style. That's you, right. You got married first. Yes. I don't yes. know how long you've been married. Eight years. Yo, yeah. Yeah. Seven, 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 seven. Ah, seven. we got you by three years. Yeah. Three, three horrible years. Yeah. And <laughs> you have a baby. Yeah, yeah. I what, three eight of year old. We have an eight year old. I'm about to have a baby. Are you oh, really? Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Five more weeks. So good for wow. you. Wow, yeah. you're almost. You there. sure it's yours? I don't know. No, okay. on the road. no one ever know. is. No one ever is. No. So don't, no, no. you know. We'll find out. I didn't think mine was mine until I realized that I could have a black baby. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. What does that mean? Are you that stupid? Yeah, I don't get until I realized. Let's break down that sentence. I didn't know it was mine until I realized I could have a black baby. Yeah. The Please baby, explain that. The baby was black. I got I, it. He got it. Who, our baby was black? That's what you're saying? Are you fucking, are you just breaking down a bad alternative joke? Is that no, what you're I doing? No, I don't, I really don't get the style. way that you said this that. Is, maybe if I did it with a paper. I don't know if you guys have this kind of magic. Maybe if I. <laughs> <laughs> but we can get this going at any time. This is why we're quitting. At we're, any this time. This is why we're stopping We're right at now. the top. We're at the apex. <laughs> okay, maybe if I did that joke with the paper on a stool, you would have got it. I'm sorry. Nothing again. I just tell me, explain how that. I don't understand the stool and the paper. <laughs> <laughs> it's magical, guys. So you do a podcast with your wife? <laughs> yeah. You, That's you what yell, you got out of that. Yeah. Do you yell and scream? What? Uh, you guys no. argue? No. Well, my wife digs me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no screaming. No. No. Not really a fight. Has your wife ever walked off crying off the podcast? <laughs> No, no. They, really? Then, I know. Then, then you're not trying. I know. <laughs> it's happened I numerous guess, times. It's these, pretty lame. These I guess. Two. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever got oral on your podcast? We covered this, Rich. And oh yeah, no, Rich, no we didn't cover this. Yes, so we did. Bad. Have you? What oral on the podcast? Not yeah. for me. Yeah, it's in our house. We do it in our house. You're a fucking savage, man. We had some work in that day. Huh? <laughs> we had good connection that day. We had, and I think we found the same person we didn't like, so we really bonded. And then just that's what brings you guys together. Oh yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> well, we <laughs> bring them back together. Yeah, well, we, we take it off ourselves for a few minutes. <laughs> we trash our. One day we had Common our enemy. We had our manager on the phone, yeah. and we beat him up all the way into New York. It was just taking turns, just fucking. What happened? He, he had a Christmas party or something, and he. You weren't invited. Well, you to don't. Him? You don't need to re go. See, he's going to try to remember some of the lines that he did. No, I'm not. He knew, no, he, he knew they fucking well. two years ago. <laughs> Is he really going to do and that? And then I said to him, "Why are you having it at seven? <laughs> That's a dumb time to have." Give it. us one of the good lines you had. You, you, you want to tell? You want to so tell the people? I don't remember. Tell I swear to Come God, on, tell us you're trash. I will tell you a good line in a second. Come I'll on, give what, you some of my have some good lines. I, you know, I don't, I, <laughs> I don't keep that shit in my brain. <laughs> All right. You, I would think you would. I mean, because it's very seldom you come up with a good one. So you got to remember at least one or two. You were leading that fucking. I don't like the fact that your line bombed us. So you just kept talking. <laughs> What a sneak. Have you ever seen him do this where he's, he says something? You think something he's that, a little sneaky? Oh, yeah. He, he knows when a joke. Believe me, he senses the energy. It was just not like, we all know what a laugh sounds like when it's about to begin. And he saw that nothing was in the works and he just kept talking. Loud ahead. It's like a bus that sees that there's nobody at the stop and just yes, continues. Yes. But my favorite is when he says something that he thinks is going to get a laugh and it doesn't, so he pretends it's a real question. Oh, uh, the worst. <laughs> but seriously, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> uh, is there a new article on this guy? No, now people are turning. They're turning on the article. I told you. Oh, that's yeah. why I didn't want to deal some, with that shit. Hollywood actor with HIV story. Chris, you're responsible. Uh, okay. Hollywood actor story with HIV. Uh, Hollywood actor with HIV story criticized as irresponsible journalism that spreads stigma. 
Yeah, that's why I didn't feel I'd comfortable with this. I'd rather spread stigma than HIV. Yeah, that's a good but point. Wait a second. If, we if, were if, ready to go to the phones and let everyone guess, and then I'm like, yeah, I don't know, man. This, 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 this just seems fucking sleazy. Is, is it and you don't want to get it right. Is it bad journalism because he didn't say the name? Because if he said the name, I, everybody would it's be. It's medical privacy, but again, HIV is deadly. Like that, yeah, I, I don't know. I've whatever. always hated the papers that did those blind items, whether they're called, where they, they're not yeah. brave. They know who it is, but they're not brave enough to name the name. But they they can't help themselves. Right. And they still want to well, put it in the fucking paper. Well, they can't prove it, so they'll get sued. They, you know. Uh, yeah, that's part of it. They're probably worried Veteran about lawsuits sitcom or whatever. Veteran star. Exactly. Oh, it's a, Bill something. <laughs> Not saying they don't rook me in. I'm trying to figure out who the person is, but I still think it's you'll, you'll sleazy know, you'll journalism. You'll know within a day. Some uh, fucking... Within a day, this name will be out in in an hour. It's mm -hmm. everywhere. This thing mm -hmm. is huge. Okay, what time is it? Mm -hmm. Is eight thirteen <laughs> by nine thirteen? I want that name. I think it will be. Though. I hope you're right. I think it will be. No, it's LA. It'll be six thirteen. Yeah, you're. You know what? Wait, yeah. is this, what does it say? Hollywood? What? They're urging him. Hollywood is now urging this person to reveal his identity. Urges HIV. Is he just like walking around his mansion? Just oh shit! Throw what am I gonna do? Why are they urging? Yeah, why, like what's the big? I mean, I know it's you know it's big gossip, but like it's not like he's fucking people, right? Like, I don't know. I think I think that might be the problem. He might be worried about lawsuits I, and stuff. I, I'm now we're in on this, both. that's fine. It, it, I, it seems like he knew he had HIV a while ago, and he, and then there's some girls that he was definitely dating. But who does oh. fact? Who doesn't wear a condom? He's worried about uh, lawsuits. Okay, right. I think what they said. Or maybe right. before he knew he had it, he fucked girls. Yeah. Do you wear a condom? I, I, just, I, you know, I don't fuck that often. To be honest, I really. Okay, almost, when you're getting fucked, does he wear a condom? But I'm not Richard! fucking. Come on, keep Richard. it in the sheet. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I haven't worn one in a while, but I literally have not stuck my dick in somebody, and I cannot remember the last time I fucked. Really? really? No. Long time. You can't remember the last time. No, nah, there's just so much risk, man. Does that count you, your audiences? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for the condom. Who cares? No, but I mean, oh, you okay. just got to watch. You know, it's. I'm at that age now. Where I don't want to fucking just knock somebody up. It's, it's scary. Mm. We are, we always wear condoms. We? I do. I say we like when people go. Like, you wear condoms with your wife? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Why? you don't. And who's yeah, the, who's the we? Because it holds. Because uh, this way I won't. I oh, it quit. helps you. It helps. Okay. It helps me from coming. And I don't like feeling his skin against me. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy just did a spin take. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's a win win. <laughs> Jimmy doesn't. Oh, that's funny. The condoms thing, though. That's no, so I wait, like when people go. Like you know, we're having pregnant? a baby. You know, oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, so well, Tom just said, we're, I'm having okay. a baby. You know, yeah. it's just, it's just the way we talk. You ready for this baby, Tom Segura? I mean, I'm ready. For, I think the thing that I am so, like, uh, in fear of is people who have babies talk to you nonstop and so dramatically about sleep deprivation mm. that it's my fear of it is is greater than, I, like, they're like, you know how what it's like to go without sleep? Mm. And you're like, yeah, you think of, like, the worst days. Right. And they're like, it's going to be, like, it's like you feel like you're going to war because really? people are, like, no. So dramatic with the. It's brutal. You got to be yeah. selfish and let her get up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Can I give you some advice? Yeah. <clears throat> um, first of all, I think as a comedian, you're already on the schedule. Do you know what I mean? You're right, used right, to getting right. up, up early, late, then yeah. going back to bed, yeah, yeah. whatever. Um, and staying up late. That's where yeah, the kids so... are waking up screaming bloody murder. But I also. Uh, <laughs> Where's the advice? At, at a somebody told me, um, you know, just let your baby get on to its own. Uh, you know, like sleep schedule. Sleep schedule. Yeah. Don't try to force it. And then at some point, very early on, Raina started sleeping kind of ten to ten. You really? know, when she started sleeping through the night. And other parents. Yeah, but it was it was a.m. to p.m. It really right, fucked right. everybody up. And uh, <laughs> thanks, Jimmy. Well, there goes that bus. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so so I just I just the only thing is is then you have to like kind of lie to other parents because yeah. they get really upset that you're, you're letting your kids baby. sleep that and you have a good kid my kid will sleep stay up the night. sometimes till one o'clock you know during the weekend or why is she trying to see untrue. one of your sets oh. that I, is absolutely are you kidding me that's never oh, happened listen, li that okay. has never oh, happened oh really bad mom our kids sometimes <laughs> will stay up so late but yeah, well, it's already, good because that we we get to that, sleep though. late. We get to sleep late. Yeah, you yeah, brought yeah. her on the road and stuff, so she's used to staying up yeah, late. Yeah, there, there's nothing wrong with it. Mm. Bonnie, you know, Bonnie's a great rain. mom. Well, 
My daughter the other oh, night God, said to this Bonnie. This is why nobody wants him to come in. He's just why? Like, he's just ch- nattering on, nonstop. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm talking. You're giving a oh, he's, talking. He's dominating. You're saying you don't like it? He, no, tends, it's he fine. tends it's to dominate like, when he comes anytime, in here. Anytime you know, I say something, what, you stupid? No, I didn't say that. You've fucking been attacking me since I got here. Tom Segura, you don't even have to take your coat off. Just relax and, <laughs> and enjoy. My daughter enjoy. comes in the other night. Go home and hug his we'll life. have you back another time when you can actually talk. Don't worry <laughs> about it. I won't we'll say it. We'll bring another you back word. tomorrow, even. I don't even want to. Yeah. First of all, our daughter comes in eight years old and goes to Bonnie. Are you guys say. having S to the X the other night? Yeah, I could honestly say no. <laughs> and then and, and you said no, and Rich said, what is she saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> sound it out. <laughs> so is this like the podcast? This is what you do. Yes. Yeah, this yes. Is, it's awful. Yes. No, but it's more fighting. <laughs> Are you going to be in the delivery room when the baby's born? Yeah. 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 Uh, above, above the curtain. Yeah. Oh, well, by her face? You don't want to see it coming out? Nah, man. Well, no, don't do that. They Are say you, it's uh, people who do it, though. You, you watch the baby come out? I, I took a peek. I wasn't, you know, I, I had strict orders. I had a couple people tell me they were really traumatized by, like, the, the fucking massacre. Yeah. You no. realize that? Yeah. I helped You realize your, uh, your dick could never be big enough. That vagina could do some crazy. I realized that a long time ago. <laughs> that vagina, what the fuck? It doesn't stay like that. Holy Your insides shit. fall out. <laughs> Holy fuck, what is that? Wait, how well, long did you look for? Were you, you, were you up there being supportive and then you just like, I had to see the baby? Or did yeah, you, you gotta check it out. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But the whole thing look? just blossomed. Oh, it's a, God. Are you how long was your peak? Was what? it a long peak? Or like a quick peak? Like, it's uh, a, you got to go quick. Yeah, how yeah. long? Was it like a five-second peak or a minute? Mm, yeah, off and on, you know, I guess. He didn't make a minute. You didn't make it a minute. No, I'm not, no I was fascinated by it. I was like, oh, holy God. shit, this I is crazy. Hard. I know, because that head is big. <laughs> Do you, are you going to try to have your wife try to have the baby on Monday so you can still work that weekend? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I got gigs. I'm not going to fucking yeah, cancel my stuff. Cancel? No, of course not. Don't make the mistake like I did when I asked the, the nurse, how long is this going to take because I'm really tired. Mm-hmm. I didn't mean to say that. It just came out. Yeah, no, that was, just, that was interpreted as selfish. Well, her water broke at like 9 or 10 at, n- at night, and then, you know, you got to do the math. That's going to be at least another what, oh, 10, thing. 12 hours. I and know. I was stupid enough to go, how long is this going to take? I'm really tired. It is a long time. I asked her if I could play golf, and I'll just meet her there. <laughs> and she got mad. I didn't really mean that. I panicked because I'm like, I, I, I thought at the time, I don't know if I could stay awake. Because I was so tired. I think when your wife is screaming and a baby is popping out, that tends <laughs> to perk you up. <laughs> you think you have to wake you up? Come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. You didn't hear it. It was huh? the wrong you... thing to say. Oh, I mean, yeah. I enjoyed the entire experience. Who got experience. mad at you? Your wife or the no, nurse? No, she, she was cool in the Lindsay end. Lindsay would I, never get mad. No, she it. wasn't mad, but I, it was like, oh, God, I'm an you, idiot. I knew what, right away what a stupid thing to say. You think that's crazy? A C-section, there's tons of blood you see. Like, when when it's coming out of the snapper, it just comes out. But when the they're doing snapper. a C, <laughs> yeah. when they're doing the C, all this blood was, uh, it's just, it, like, it, it's going through tubes, and it's a major operation when they cut you do it that way. Yeah, she did because yeah. her pussy's so tight. Yeah, right, Tom. Yeah, I know, I've, I've never me. had it stretched out. <laughs> <laughs> word, word on the street, it's tight. Yeah, so, yeah. All right, I, I'll back you up. <laughs> the hell, can't stretch it, Rich. Huh? Can't stretch it. Sorry, it's understandable. These little hands. I understand. <laughs> I like when a girl tells me I can't stretch it, <laughs> but someone once did, and I'm like, "Oh, tell me about that." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How much better was it when I, I come before she Try finished? circular motions. <laughs> <laughs> you're, stir, you're stirring the soup. You're do, stirring. The soup. Do you know uh, what you're having, boy? Boy, big old boy. Are you happy with that? Yeah, yeah. I didn't care. I mean, I don't have like the people that are yeah. seriously. Saying their preference, like really, it, it's going to affect you. Daughter just seems scarier. It just it seems does, like more. Work. But like, I wasn't like, I gotta have a boy. Like these dopes that are like, it's not a boy. I don't fucking like throw it in the river. Yeah, yeah they, I, you know. I mean, well, way. the second mistake I made for the second kid <laughs> when we were finding out what we were having, I was convinced I was I was looking at a ball bag. So I'm like, oh, all right, I'm going to have another boy. And then they said you're going to have a girl. And my reaction was, I screamed, no. Really? That was stupid too. Why, Why did you scream? I went no, because I know how, I, that, I, that guys are assholes. Yeah, yeah. We're all a bu- we've all been a bunch of pigs in our lives, and I'm thinking. I fast forwarded to her dating. My, yeah. Oh, even it's though, be brutal. The, the, but even though she wasn't even born yet, but you, I started screaming no. Were you tempted to to not to know beforehand, or you just you guys said no way? I I think it's stupid not to know. 
because you know you know the deal you know your wife being pregnant for nine months it's a it's a long haul for everybody yeah, yeah. more for the woman and and it's good to break it up with finding out that you're having a boy or a girl so then that's kind of a distraction and like you could you know throw that news around a little bit and blah 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 yeah 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 because did you find out like how long into it uh, I don't know. We've had it ten weeks. Yeah, that's about right. There's a you blood, have a there's a picture blood of the now. fetus. Tells you. Oh, the, I got. Do I? Yeah. Yeah. You carry it around with you? I don't carry it. It's oh. in my phone. Oh. Wait, what? So. Oh, the picture? Yeah. 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 No, I just I know this might be inappropriate, but it are there guys that jerk off to that? Is that a thing? Are there guys that don't? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a sonogram photo? <laughs> Yeah. A sonogram photo? Yes. Is that a... Is that hey. a God, I've been doing this fetish? a long time, and we've heard about a lot of crazy it's shit. It's got to be. I've never I'm heard sure. about that sonogram one. Sonogram fetish. I have we three... did the dumb video, the, the video. What? Of what? You could see the, the baby oh, yeah, inside. Yeah. Oh, and then there's that was kind of cool. Yeah. No, they actually give you... No, you go to a special place. Right. Oh, Where yeah. it's a lot more detail. Did they put a soundtrack to it? No. We got a soundtrack. Oh, but oh, what song? Oh, what song yeah, did you pick? It was just all Stevie Wonder shit. Oh, oh no, that's great. great. That's another mod bad sign. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Blind. Well, it was either that or they were like, "Do you want like Disney music?" And I was like, "That's just fucking creepier." It's shit creepy. To have yeah. Disney music playing, or it's like just put on some, you know, soul or something. Something more. How long know. is the video? A few minutes. Yeah. Yeah, it's like less than five minutes. Were you probably. amazed when Do you, you saw it? Do you have it on your phone? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't have it on my phone. No, no. Did it change you at all? Like they say, every how a baby changes you. Well, you know, they have like the regular ultrasound ones, which you think are pretty cool. But when you see the 3D one, where you actually see That's the nose up. and the shape, yeah. you're like, holy shit. Like, you, you really see that there's a human life there. You're amazed that it's happening. You're amazed at the technology. You're kind of blown away by it all, you know? It's, wow. it's like, yeah, it's, it's a whole other level. And it's just so, I mean, even though, I mean, it's so alien. It's so it, weird. Yeah. And, it, and the other thing is, like, you, the way you, you, you look at pregnancy, obviously you're around in your whole life but then when your spouse is pregnant your whole idea of like you you can't wrap your head around there's human growing yes, in the know. person next so to you weird. right you're like, yeah then you see like the hand pop out and you're touching the skull you're like this is fucking bananas like when you walk by it a million times but when it's next to you and you know it's half it, you yeah it's no, so you, crazy. No, not always when did you stop <laughs> when did she stop performing uh or it did she yet she did a spot last week Last so, week. But she's done. She's you done. She's didn't done. you tape uh, comics? Were you pregnant when you taped uh, No, TV it was three show? weeks after. But Rich, I said I wanted to quit doing stand-up, I swear to God. And Rich was like, there's no fucking way. And he made me do stand-up until two weeks before I came. <laughs> yeah. What? I need it. Look, it. sometimes $50 comes he in Because you're being a baby. <laughs> I said, would be like... He said you're I, being a baby? Well, the, in the first trimester, I was I very sick. I threw up all the time. And every single day, he'd go to me, what's wrong? Every, and I'd be like, it's the same as yesterday. How long would you, when you, it was in the morning? Yes, it was awful. How long would you puke for? Uh, like what? Like how long does it have that go on for? Oh, well, he, the, I can't remember, but the doctor t gave me a date. He goes, it'll probably end on this date. And it literally ended on that date. Like the next day I felt fine. It's like. Was it more than a week of vomiting? Oh no! Yeah, it's well, like it's like lot. three months or something. Oh my god! No, it wasn't that long. Yeah, that's pretty long. Yeah, we, didn't, we didn't go through that for the most part. Not like that. Now, were you doing like spots, or were you doing like full? No, full head weekend headlines. No, <laughs> Jesus yes. Christ! Well, did you just go yes. headlining? <laughs> Ten years ago, we were working together. Oh, oh, maybe. But she yeah. probably shouldn't have been uh, doing sets. But I don't think you. I think you. Two weeks you out. That's work crazy. Up yeah. two no, it was because I, I remember where I was. I was at uh, the, the uh, on Long Island. The uh, governors? governors, governors, or not governor? Brokerage. Bro Thank you. Two that was the last, and and two weeks later, I had her. Two weeks out, you move. Yeah. Oh, I was big, and I would I come drove, on stage, and there. people would be like, "What the fuck?" Because <laughs> they, <were, laughs> they were convinced maybe you would have the baby that night. <laughs> yeah, you're in the zone. Well, I'd always like say you know, at some point, "I'm crowning." <laughs> fuck it, I'm so proud of Bonnie. I could show you. I came the other day. I was so proud of her. I came out of the supermarket, Stop. and she's working Friday hey, there's a, there's locally, a and she. Her picture was in the bulletin board at the supermarket at, at, at ShopRite. Is Look this at interesting this. to everyone? It's so, it, how could you not be proud of your wife when she's in the bulletin board? You pulling up? In the yeah, bulletin board. I was literally in the bulletin right. board. No. In our hometown? <laughs> it's not great. You don't, think, you don't like that, Bonnie? I'm fucking so proud. I was walking you out. You know what? Honestly, Rich, 
so many things about on? my life are humiliating that that's really <laughs> so far down on the list. <laughs> when did your book come out? What do you mean the bulletin February board? February 23rd. Just, just right. you know, where if you need As a babysitter, leaving? you pull off a thing. Right. Yeah, we see the picture. It's good. It's, I have it. Really I have nice. to read it. So it's well, really funny. Bonnie's book. I think I have it, right? Oh, did I? Did you give me a Oh, maybe you didn't give me a copy. Maybe you just I got it. one. Oh. I'm not sure if I have it or not. My reading habits are so You still awful. haven't read the book? <laughs> How do you not read your wife's book? It's been another that's month. Terribly, he's, never, he's, not, he's, not, he's not read the first word. That's, that's, terrible, terrible, that's terribly it. unsupportive. No, that's not true. Shut I was going to bring it last what? weekend to Vancouver, Let and she in. took it off my desk. I did not take it off your desk. Yes, you gave, brought it to Canada. The what? bottom line is you should read your wife's book. Let me go to Tom Segura, who also does a podcast with his wife. So your wife you know, writes a book about her life, right? Are you right. reading the book before it comes out? I, th I think so, yeah. Okay. Pretty solid choice. <clears throat> He's had about three or four months at least to read this book. Not really. Not counting the, the book. two years that I was writing it. Not interested? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> no. no, you don't want to see you know somebody doing something that you think you should you be know, doing. He doesn't. No. <laughs> He won't read the book because I'm he's not doing the book. I understand that. Like, you're afraid that you're watching her succeed in a place that you're not succeeding. But it's also your book. wife, too. I know. While I was writing your the wife. book, this is kind of fascinating. While I was writing the book, Rich decided that I should ghostwrite his book. Okay. Did he talk about his, his own so book? So he talked you... about his own book a lot. No, we talked about that before and your book. No. <laughs> You're the one who said And then it. he even went to, like, met with an agent. They and asked it. me to come in. They, they asked they asked me, yeah, they, my manager set up, they wanted me to do a book, but I... And then he was like, to, I'm going to pay you $10,000 to write my book. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that what you said to your wife? I'll no. give you 10 Gs to write no, my I book? No, I didn't offer that much. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you read the book? I'm going to read it. I've just been so busy. How competitive are you guys? Are you guys not at all, because no? we do... I, sometimes I'll get a little not jealous at, all, at things. He says. Yeah. You know, I, he, sometimes he's, that's he's, why he's, he's here mad, today. No, he's that's mad not. That I, that's, that's why he's here today. That's, 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 that's so fucking wrong. You're that's true. Pro, no, we're can not. I explain why we, 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 we no, booked stupid. Bonnie? Because we thought it was time to maybe split him up a little yeah. bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. But he, yeah. he saw that as that she, now she's taking getting over can I, can and getting the he attention. He didn't want her star to sh shine brighter than his, so he right. blew her candle out. That's right. I, <laughs> so, wow. Can I explain? No, you can't give a literal answer. We're teasing you. No one's interested there's, in the real answer. There's, there's an, an absolute jealousy you. happening here. Because no, Bonnie right. came in, and she did very well on her own. And then very next well. Thing you know, we love Bonnie. Next thing you know, we're not going to have Bonnie alone anymore. No, you can have her alone. Shut up. We're trying to make fun of you. You can make her third mic between answers. her and <laughs> between her, Mark Norman or Doug Benson. She could be third mic. I don't care. But we last night did our our radio show, and then we did the pod. Uh, the stop the giving real answers. We're yeah, making what, fun of you. Stop. No you? one wants a literal answer. You're losing your mind. Nobody <laughs> wants a fucking real answer. <laughs> no, <laughs> technically speaking, folks. And then like we did roast Rose Rose battle. Shut up. We were here till two o'clock. He wants to debate me. Uh, the, the Jack Webb can come on this show. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know he's acting because his eyes just opened up. That's right. They have to be open. You're acting. You can't have act with closed eyes. Don't. <laughs> So we were going to be in New York till one o'clock anyhow. No so I cares. said, "What the fuck? I might as well go in and plug story. Rochester." It's not true. That's it is not true. true. How's Rochester selling? Not well. Uh, I don't know. I don't care. I'm not doing a door deal. Oh. Oh, <laughs> What's wrong, Bob? What? That's just. It's just so pathetic. <laughs> What, oh, part you know, what part of what it? Part of it? What is? Hold on, let me. Hold on, what is funny? Complaining about Rochester off mic, and then oh, I don't know. I don't care. Well, he's got to play it cool. Doesn't matter. He's, he's got to play it cool in front of these people. Is he panicking about Rochester? He's I don't panicking. know. He just you know, uh, are those pants a sign of panic? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you don't want to say you like the fucking pants. Bright green corduroy pants. They're terrible. Pants. They're right. not terrible. They're very fucking corduroy. nice. They're not nice. And I'm going from here to the golf course so I can play golf in them too. All right, they're terrible. They're, they're not terrible. terrible. I don't care where you're going. <laughs> what they're the fuck terrible. is terrible? You're giving somebody dressing. We all know I don't dress well. We're not Case okay. Closed. You're Those are terrible. Is, uh, I'm a man who knows because I dress poorly, so I recognize someone. Yeah, we're not who trying to. Poorly. We're not trying to have a style. You're trying to have a style. That's the problem. They're terrible green corduroys. Yes. I mean, if we want to keep going, the, the shoes and the hats. Let me show you. The with the wing, they're wingtips. <laughs> exactly. You should fly in front of a train. They're fucking terrible. <laughs> they're fucking wingtips. What are boots. those? <laughs> huh? <laughs> What's wrong with them? I gave you the what are those. They're, they're great. <laughs> Are you fucking like I'm a You're dress like a little leprechaun outfit. They're fucking horrible. <laughs> oh, really? You yes. were you're such a fucking what? Uh, he's giving literal uh, answers. Bonnie Lotto Lotto Lotto. You're losing Lotto your Lotto mind Lotto? in your old age. We're mocking your outfit. You're going, but no, technically this is from Marshalls. No, <laughs> no the pants are eighty percent off. 
<laughs> oh, oh. Cares. So we have Tom Segura in studio. Yes. Yeah, let's Tom's a, a very funny stand-up, and he's appearing uh, at Skirball Center for uh, the New York Comedy Festival oh, nice. on uh, Friday night. And uh, really, we did a, a gig together in Pittsburgh. It was me, you, Michael Che, your wife, Christine, who else? And, um, Christ, who am I forgetting? It was, well, it was, uh, it was Randy Bauman and right. uh, someone from his show, I think, kind of opened up the show. Was there another comedian? Yeah, there was one more. I can't remember. You're right. Michael Che, you, me, Christina, and Randy. I think that's it. And Randy. Okay, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was a blast. The guy from the radio show. No, I, okay, that was the last one. Yeah, okay, we couldn't remember his name. The guy from the radio show. Yeah, yeah. We, I think Randy's that was awesome. He's very thing. funny. I don't remember his name. Okay. It's terrible. I don't remember. Yeah, his name. that was a blast, man. I remember Randy, but. Do we have another uh, Melissa Click video? It's short. Yes. Yeah. We were all about this yesterday. Are you following the University of Missouri story? Yeah, with the, yeah. With the um, safe space? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm into it. I mean, I'm a big college football fan, so that's why I'm really into it. But uh, yeah, they wouldn't play. Yeah, yeah, it, it really shows you the power of those guys. It's a, it's really incredible what college football players, especially yeah. more so than any sport, they could pretty much get whatever they want. They control the campuses. They could, I mean, they could, con they could probably get themselves paid. You know, right. if they really wanted to, right? Make Just us think about not it. play. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what what is this clip of Melissa Click? This is twenty more seconds past what we saw yesterday, where she's just carrying on more. She of is a fucking guy so out. hateable. Well, what? they have a safe space. They're protesting, <laughs> but uh, this is an area that they they have deemed uh, the safe space, and people are you know the reporters, or whatever the media, is saying fuck that. And this lady uh, Melissa Click is like asking for muscle the last time we ch checked in on her. She right? wants the press physically removed. She wants them and removed from the tent, the little tent city, the whatever it's called. Isn't the thing that there. she actually was complaining first that there weren't reporters there? Yes. 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 She posted she's, on her she's, Facebook. She's so hateable. She was begging for uh, begging uh, for people to yeah, cover hey, can this, you come cover here? this thing. Hey, can you get yeah. the fuck out now? Yeah. Can and now you, can now you, it's too much. Can you recap it real quick? I didn't read the story. I saw it on, and I didn't read I it. What, just, ha what <laughs> happened in the beginning? <laughs> I think you just did. I think I did. Well, all right. But what's the reason she's out? They're out there. There was some racial... There's, a, oh, there's basically, there's been a racial tension, tension at, on campus. Yeah, okay. A couple incidents. And then um, uh, a guy started a, a hunger strike. Did they then, think the university president didn't respond properly? They, exactly. The whole thing was that the university president, they were like, didn't react uh, in a way that they thought would be, you know, that was correct about these, all these racial incidents. And then the football team said, if this stuff, if he doesn't resign, we're not playing next Saturday. So they so, got the president to resign. Yeah. What were the racial incidents? Uh, that I can't multiple, figure out still. Multiple students said that they had uh, kids... Kids claimed that they uh, had end bombs uh, dropped on them, and then there was a swastika made of feces put in one of the oh dorm God. bathrooms. God, who does uh, that? Art? So they said that you know, and they said that when they brought these things to people's attention, nothing. There was they really, were just kind of looking the what other way. What do they want to do though? I don't really know. I'm not sure, but well, they got the president to resign, but what else do they want? Well, they said that's just the beginning. But I, I, I guess they want the kids that are you know. I think they should have an investigation to find out who's doing it. Uh, I mean that's. Thank I got a feces says, swastika making kit at home. I haven't <laughs> seen it yet. Exactly. Whoever's been walking around with their hands far away from their face. <laughs> <laughs> Travis says there's a list of demands. What are some of the demands? Uh, they want the I students do. to kicked out of college. I would assume that they did some yeah, of these things. If, if Eric Google's just like list of demands. Okay. Uh, he'll, there's like ten things that they want. Where like you know x amount of minorities are hired and x amount of time and and x amount of curriculum is maintained by minority people and it's gonna be tough to get the whole yeah. list of things oh my god and is the president was the president uh go yeah, back i think his removal was part of the list of demands why but they, they want, want him to way more than that because, he, he, because they said that he didn't do anything he didn't act appropriately when these issues were brought to him so, I, I mean, the, the biggest problem we have with this is the whole safe space there, Tom Segura. You think they should have a safe space when people are protesting? Uh, it's kind of, it sounds kind of like a, an unreasonable request to, right. to lock off the, the safe space. I mean, I guess on a campus, you're entitled to an area where people can't, you know, yeah. fuck with you if they're not, if they don't belong on campus. But, like, like she was saying, this was such a big story, you obviously wanted attention for it. Yeah. Like, that's what, you you went on a hunger strike, and you went on a we're not playing ball strike. Right. So, you want right. a lot of attention, and now you're saying... And you got it. 
Yeah. They should build a fence or something if they, if they don't want the, the press too close it to them. It's a public space. It's a public space. And this bitch and these fucking baby of students like formed a human yeah. chain and were actually pushing somebody and, out. Yeah. And I think that's the type of environment where they would just complain about, don't use any physical, yeah. no physical, like they obsess about a swastika or naughty words. But they're comfortable, like, physically pushing somebody out. Absolutely, they're the yeah. worst. And the kids aren't getting hurt by the media no. pushing forward a little bit. They, they, getting, they, they weren't Getting hurting. a closer look, yeah. But this Melissa Click, she she actually called for muscle to try to get one of these reporters, uh, you know, pushed away. And well, also I don't want to act more dumber than I am, but to the safe place. That sentence starts no, no. the right way. The, uh, the, the, the safe place, who wants the safe place? The protesters or this lady? The college the, the students. students. The, the students. The so students the students themselves. want to see, So what's wrong with having a place where they get... Because they're probably thinking, you know, uh, that... Uh, You're for a safe space? What? Uh, for a space where they can't get hurt, like it but Kent then no one's State. getting hurt here. That's what's really There's infuriating. No national guard. Yeah, what's no that? one's getting shot. Does, okay. No one's getting hurt in this situation. Mm. That's what's infuriating. They're just as well. sitting in tents and like yeah. you know. And the reporters are trying to get a little closer to get their pictures and stuff. And the you know the press is hateable. And this as kid well, was like but. a twenty-year-old Asian student from uh, and he worked for ESPN. He wasn't some giant camera crew. He was just a guy taking pictures, and it's a public place. And then people are like, you don't have the right to take our picture. Yeah, he does. You're in public. Mm -hmm. Whether you like that or not, he does have the right. You have no well, expectation of privacy in public. He has every right to take well, your picture. Well, no, that's not public. It's a campus. That's not a public a it place. It is it's in a public, public school. Yes, it is a public. And you're, oh, and you're, and you're, in, and you're on public property, meaning you're in public. No. It's like even if it's a private facility, if you're on the fucking grounds of Harvard University or whatever, you're still, or whatever, whatever would be a private campus, you're outdoors. Yeah. As um, long as you're not behind your house or something. Yeah. Also, don't forget that this professor who tried to shut it down was a communications professor. Exactly. Yeah, she yeah. stinks. So, so more video popped up. This is uh, kind of new. Uh, let's listen to this. Okay, well, you need to get out. You need to get out. This is public Hand in front of the camera. No, yeah, no, this is a really good one. I'm a communication faculty, and I really get that argument. But you need to go. You need to go. What a cunt. You need to go. Please respect your students. I think it's very simple. I, I, I didn't see you respecting that reporter. Respect. I don't respect their wishes. Like they use these little fruity college terms. Yeah. But then they're trying to shove this guy out. They're not respecting his right. Yeah. To do what he wants. They're the worst. It's because that bubble academia academia is not reality. So you, this kind of shit, you can say this to people on campus that work at the school, and everyone yeah. freezes up like, yeah. oh shit, the professor just told me to like right. how to live my life, and exactly. they do. But like when you mix real world on campus, you know, it, yeah. you see how silly shit like that That's is. That's a good point. Yeah. And she's apologized. She's releasing, oh, yeah, she wrote an apology, mm -hmm. um, and um, I still hope she's fired. Mm -hmm. I hate her. Yeah. I hope she's I fired that, and ruined. I think the Times reported that she's <laughs> not working there anymore. Yeah, she resigned. No, she didn't. I heard that was, that was, uh, they did? That was something else. She didn't actually resign. I, I read that, or, or I heard that, and then I said, no, it was something else. That she was reported in the Times. It's not. When, when did they report that? Her. Today. Last night. They uh, she, resigned, she resigned her position. It was a voluntary position. Wasn't it in something mm. else that she resigned it and she's still there? I, I could be wrong, but I read that that was a, a slippery thing. I, I know I don't sound like I know what I'm talking about, and I kind of don't, but I heard she did not resign, that that was incorrect. I don't, you know, I don't like her, but I don't think she should have to resign. Oh, she should for Just, fucking encouraging physical but, removal but, of somebody? But nothing really happened, though. So where's the incident itself? Um, you know what I mean? I, she's hateable, but... She was encouraging. She said, "Can I have some more muscle, muscle. to get this reporter right. out of a public space?" But what does that mean? Like, is it uh, some campus people that will do it carefully? Like, what, what was her intentions? You it know? means, can I have somebody strong yeah. to physically remove a person that I can't physically remove? Right. She's the fucking worst. And believe me, if it was reversed, she'd be screaming oh, for somebody to be fired or expelled. Oh my God. Of course so, she would. Fuck her. All right. Fair okay, enough. Okay, so she resigned her courtesy appointment which uh, allows her to serve on graduate committees for students from other academic units. So she's still working there? I yeah. believe that she still works at another part of the school, yeah. Yeah. Mm. It, it wasn't a real resignation. The South End. I think she should just absolutely leave the school and then hang herself as an apology. <laughs> <laughs> I'll accept that. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> And then what's happening at Yale? She needs some muscle to help her with that. She wrote, her, her statement was, uh, can you make that a little bit bigger? Yesterday was an, an historic day at MU 
full of emotion and confusion. I have reviewed and reflected upon the video of me that is circulating and have written this statement to offer both apology and context for my actions. I've reached out to the journalists involved to offer my sincere apologies and to express regret over my actions. I re regret the language and strategies I use and sincerely uh, apologize to the MU campus community and journalists at large for my behavior and also for the way my actions have shifted attention away from the students' campaign for justice. You think she means this? Most apologies, it's I feel very like, well are complete written. bullshit. It is well yeah. written, but she's in mass media. She is, she's a communications major, clearly. Yeah, she, she, she teaches this stuff. It's probably a combination of the fact she's very afraid for her job and the fact that everyone hates her fucking guts now. And she probably also feels bad about it. Like I guess you don't realize like, but when like, you're just yelling at somebody that this is going to, you know, you don't but, realize still what, what kind of world we live in where and when every you, video is. Right. But she's speaking for the kids. That's what they want. Right? And when you see her video, she probably didn't. Re uh, there's more to the statement. Can you show the statement? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on. Let's go back to that statement. There's also, uh, when, you, when you see yourself on video like that, like, yeah, yes. God, do I suck. Oh. Yeah. Well, right. the, I know she called the reporter and apologized, and he accepted yeah, the apology. Yeah, she had to. Uh, from the experience I've learned about humanity and humility, when I apologized to one of the reporters in a phone call this afternoon, he accepted my apology. I believe he's doing a difficult job, and I am grateful to have had the opportunity to speak with him. His dignity also speaks well to the journalism program at MU. Again, I wish to express my sincere apology for my actions. Which I like... <laughs> I like when athletes release statements like yeah. this for their... Like, <laughs> right, 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 you've never like, heard them like, ever Greg say... Greg Hardy's tweets are all like, y'all can't see me. And then it's like, I want to, I want to apologize for my past behavior. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right, you dialed that uh, up too? Yeah. Okay. Sorry I hit her. Right? What she's saying is basically, um, I want to apologize for having taught a certain behavior for years. And then the one time in a real life situation I get to practice a certain me media behavior, mm -hmm. I act like a total cunt and you all saw it. Mm -hmm. That's what she's saying. Right. Sorry I was a cunt and you all caught me being a cunt. Right. But really, what else could she do at that point? If she, she had to apologize. But I mean, yeah. the fact that she did that and was like, ah, save space. I, I need some muscle. That's who she really is. She's yeah. the fucking... Cause this yeah. wasn't like a CNN team flooding these people in a private moment. This was a fucking journalism student trying to take some pictures of them while they sleep in tents on the lawn. Go fuck yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's, an aw she's awful. You're right. She's, she's awful. awful, and then she got caught being, being herself. Awful. That's yeah. who she is. Yeah. yeah. Right. Fuck her. What about the Yale situation? That's that's kind of similar with the safe space, right? Yeah, there was a safe space there. Oh, what there, is the Yale thing? I there was an is there email. A university. This is the, someone got a B. This, <laughs> this is the Halloween costume thing yes. that is also taken off and on campus. Yeah, there was an email that was uh, sent around to students saying that uh, you know possibly they should think about what their costumes are, and you don't want to offend oh, anybody. God, this is, I don't understand this world. Yeah. So then, I, don't, I don't understand this. It's the fun of Halloween. Who gets so bothered by a Halloween costume on campus? Well, I agree with this. I think the costumes have gotten way out of hand and are over the line. <laughs> we talked about, we talked what about happened, this. What happened to, oh, that guy's just an asshole. If it's too, if it's too far, sure. but well, you're gonna. It seems like the students are breaking down and getting extremely emotional because of a costume they saw. We like told the, no the, way. The we, Pill Cosby one. That one oh, was. Phenomenal. That was hilarious. What, what was that? Oh, the Cosby with the. Where he's uh, dragging the. Where he's dragging yes. the girl. That that might have been the best one I saw this year. That's the best one. And, and we we hate Cosby. Of course, he's a scumbag. But that's yeah. funny. funny. Yeah, we've talked about this last yeah. night on our show. Bonnie, when she was a kid, in Canada. So Dressed as a Chinaman. That was one of my costumes. Third or fourth grade. And so would people say, what are you? And you would answer... I'm a Chinaman. And and nobody, had... nobody, there was no, nobody was like, oh, well, that seems wrong. <laughs> no. no one cared? Yes. My mom helped me get it. <laughs> right. I... She had the teeth and the hat. You squint a bit, lot, too? You go big glasses? I think I did. Yeah. I can't remember if I had makeup on. Did anything. you go pointy hat? I did a, you one of those rice hats. paddy hats. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> Like, you're, you're all in with your costume. If, I went all in. If you sent a kid to school that way now, <laughs> like, can you imagine sending your kid to school? I was also one year, uh, the year before, I was a, a drunken homeless man. <laughs> and that. that was third grade, and nobody said, hey, that's weird. <laughs> he walked around with a bottle. <laughs> a bottle of... Uh, that's great. Yeah. I love the visual of sending your kid to school. <laughs> it's it's right. How? There, there would be news cameras there, fucking boys. 
Listen, especially in New York City school. Oh, oh. man, are they uptight oh. to begin with, and you send your kid as a child. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a national story, man. I yeah, right in a second. I want to videotape that since, badly. Since Raina was in first grade, I tried to get her to do this costume of like a head on a plate. Yeah. You know, and then make this part yeah. of the table. Yeah. And uh, I, she wouldn't do it. I wanted a bloody head on a plate. And then I told my friend, who's a teacher, I was like, oh, I tried to get Raina to do bloody head on a plate again this year. She won't do it. And she goes, wait, a bloody head on a plate? I go, yeah. She goes, well, she's in third grade. That's completely inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. It didn't even creative. cross my mind. That's creative. That's creative. That's I would, not inappropriate. I would never think that's inappropriate. I just wouldn't. I would. I mean, I didn't know that. She goes, no, that's. She goes, I, I don't think the my... teachers would be too pleased with a bloody oh, sure. scene like yeah, that. Yeah, I get that. That they, would, they wouldn't be pleased, but I would be like, whatever. That's kind of funny. <laughs> that was great. Your. The Ching Chong <laughs> yeah. thing, yeah. that would be a, considered, I think, a little more inappropriate yes, now. Yes. Oh, there would be, you're right, there'd be, na- there'd be cameras be all over. <laughs> Tom, well, you know, you're about to be a father. The school stuff's going to drive you insane. Being crazy, right? Being a comic. I don't know. I, I know a little bit about you, but I guarantee it's going to drive you nuts. I think it's going to be. The rules they have. The rules and also, like, I'm basically, you know, leave me alone. Yeah. Uh, so, like, the the other parents... You know, like, are gonna. That's the part that I think I fear the most is hanging out, like, going to be around a person that would never want to be well, around. They have, right. they have, have play to. dates now, and then you you look at the parents and and you you, you pr- gotta do it. You pray because you see the cool parents, and you you pray your kid will gravitate to, to their the kids. to their kids, yeah. so you can hang out with someone that. Uh, and I'm sure they're thinking the same thing when they see me. Like, oh, I hope my kid doesn't. I can you know, I can uh, honestly say I have not seen yet a cool parent. <laughs> Well, Some of them are all right, where you're like, all right, I'd rather hang out with that one than these three over right. here. And then yeah. then you're, in my case, my son like gravitates to that kid. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to have to deal with that, that parent now. Well, fucking Bonnie went to the, they had the Halloween parade. And you can't get, like, everybody's, next year we're coming with a camera crew. Uh, that's her idea. Because her idea? Her idea. I, I, idea. Because <laughs> every parent is fucking just knocking you over to take pictures at any yeah. event. Any event. Like when we go to the kids having a play or a, you know the quiet whatever they're all there. You could go with assembly, holding so. up their yeah. iPads. People yes. use their iPads. Yes. to yes. a an assembly. But I want to go to their house and be like, "When's the last time you fucking looked at that? Remember when you elbowed me? <laughs> Have you looked at that in the last two years? You right. fucking asshole." These are, these parents too that like coat like keep coaching the kid to do the cute thing over and over. Mm. Like, dude, you're like fucking torturing this kid. Yeah. You know, like the kid does something cute and they're like, do it again. Yeah. And Say start, woogly and roll the egg. Because yeah. I want to put it on my Facebook page. And then they make, <laughs> you can see the kid's like done with it. Like, I don't, yeah. uh, what did I do? And yeah. They, Keep yeah. prodding them to do it again. We just yeah. pray our daughter doesn't say these things in front of Keith or Wanda. <laughs> Let's go to the Yale story. <laughs> okay, so here's the Yale story. Then, so there were, uh, <clears throat> there were suggestions. It was good. I'm just I fucking around. Down. Relax. It was a black thing. I got it. She, oh, like our it. kid is racist? Yeah, yeah I got we it. We didn't teach her that. She was born racist. <laughs> <laughs> we did not teach her Go that. Go ahead, Eric. So there were, uh, there were efforts at the school to... Uh, they, they wanted people to be sensitive about their Halloween costumes. And two professors sent around in emails that criticized that. That said people should be allowed to wear what they want. So one of the professors oh was speaking publicly. Thank you. Yeah. Finally, someone brave enough to fucking speak up. Yeah, but then they want her job. I know. That's the problem. That's why it's tough to speak up. Well, you can't have an opinion without getting no, a you fucking fired. You cannot have an opinion in this world. Of course you can. It's fucking ridiculous. Especially on the college campus. They're dude. the worst. Wait, there's yeah, a the name for place. for uh, what? politically correct bullies? Is that what is this? Cry bullies? Stand up to cry bullies. Ugh. So you got uh, two professors saying, look, that's just wrong. They yeah. should be able to wear whatever they want. And then the students are freaking out about that. That's, that's where we're at, right? Because yeah. they're very coddled. They're not used to somebody saying, I don't know if your opinion's right. They're, they're, they like to be known as the precocious child who's like, ooh, what about this, mom? And, ooh, clever boy. <laughs> but, if you, but if you come and you go, well, I don't know about that, they're like, I, 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 I. they don't know how to handle any type of dissent. And Tom, a little right. more advice because you're about to do this? Yeah. Be shitty to your kid every once in a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not mm-hmm. a lot. But be shitty. Physically strike. Right. Be Very a little important. shitty because they're coddled wherever they go. 
It's unbelievable. So it's good to just you be gotta a little deny shitty. them something. A little bit, yes. right? Yeah. To this day, when I walk in the house, Throw my father problem. goes, "Howdy, faggot!" <laughs> <laughs> it's, but it's helped you. Yes, but it, I also find that that's the voice I hear in my own head. <laughs> I look in the mirror <laughs> and make sure that you understand that they will lose in life from time to time. Yeah, they don't. They have no concept of that. It's crazy. They really do everywhere now. That I've, I've seen, like friends, my my friends' kids are getting the. Um, the the participation it's, trophies. Oh, it's it's very insane. important, I think, just to show them that it's important to participate. That's awful. It's fucking horrible. Yeah. We'll play games with our daughter that we know we're going to win on purpose, just to teach her. You know. And, yeah. Oh yeah. I, what do you and, play and with? Them? Like Scrabble, because you know you're going to eke her out by seven or eight points. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, really? Yes. He can't, he can't fire you guys. <laughs> well, I couldn't think That's of a good joke. That was a good no, joke. No, it was. It was. Last time we played Scrabble, what made I was that beating funny was him. Eke out. Yeah, eke out. Oh, see, I was implying yeah. that you're so stupid you could only beat an, an eight. How old is she? The eke out part of that joke. Is, all right, so four. All right, let's let's do this. So you got Yale, and uh, what are we looking at? So this is the professor. Yeah. Defending his position that people Good. should be allowed to wear what they want. All right. <clears throat> I have said I am sorry for causing you pain. That's different. About that is different. <laughs> that is different. In fact, that's different than the statement that I'm sorry for what I said. There's a big difference between. Can the you two pause guys. this? Because I, I want to just say one thing here. This professor obviously has been on this campus for a long time, and he sees things changing. And I bet you, in his own brain, he's he's out of his mind yeah. Yeah. at the change that he's seeing yeah. in front of his face. Because he probably was at Yale when people when did people whatever the hell. When people revered the white man, uh, yeah. <laughs> whore whatever now the fuck they he's wanted. Evil. When, you can hear the frustration in this guy's voice. He probably doesn't like the fact that he said he was sorry, like that you were offended by it, and they're it, taking it as an apology. Yeah, and he he didn't think Yale's would look. Like, yeah, oh, fuck it. Go ahead. Oh, Rich, if you don't have anything, just I had sit a good there. one. Yeah, sometimes just enjoy the silence. Yeah. I had a good one, but too well, racy. You, di you didn't. Too racy? Yeah. Too racy. What, what were you going to say, yeah. Aunt Rich? I was, like, <laughs> do you know racy means, like, sexy? Like, you said it, uh, it's not no, racial. He meant, he meant you know, R-E-C-E-Y, -E yeah. Do you know, Rich? Racy means over the edge. Racy. It's a little racy. Let's play the clip. Do you the fundamentally fact, stand behind free I stand speech. behind free speech. Yes, I do. Well, then that's sorry doesn't mean anything. Even when it's offensive, especially when it's offensive. Even when it denigrates me. Even when it denigrates you, even though I don't agree of course. with the concept yes, that's of the speech. I have the same objections to the speech oh. that you do. The same ones. But it does But I defend the right of people to speak their mind. So when the says So who gets to decide what's offensive? Who gets to decide, when guys? How about, how about who can win? Or what if everybody listen says to, I am hurt? Listen to that. And they, I, really, oh. they really mean she it, She said, though. whatever is offensive to me. And whenever it hurts me... And it's like that's the narcissism of it. Like he, the guy, the, there's a, a black kid. He's speaking. Or he's 18. He goes, but even when it denigrates me, yes. yes. Yeah. Why don't the kids today understand what the the meaning of freedom of speech is? Did I mean? Did we ever you have the right always, to be offended? We but we've always given. It, there's always been something you couldn't say. Like now it's this stuff. Forty years ago, if you were talking publicly about how much the church sucked, yeah, they fuck it. Like where, where, where were these older academics defending Lenny Bruce or, oh, oh, you know what I mean? There was always been somebody that said some dumb, did some shit that people didn't like. In our lifetime, it just seems like it's way worse. These now. kids are like they're so used to being like that's awful, and and getting people to to go like you're right, like that was really bad what was said, and we they they like to you know fire up the group. To, to feel so that we all get offended together. But you know? instead of saying, like, oh, yeah, you're right, even if it offends me, because if you, if you believe that, like, if it's offensive to me, then you had absolutely, if you're that, like, far left where you think if you're offended that it shouldn't be talked about, then you better never praise gay marriage, because that offends a tremendous, at least half of the country, if not more, find that repulsive. Mm -hmm. I'm for it. But, no, but know, they're, they're, that's, that's the whole thing, is that they don't see that there's, a, that everyone has a, you know, their own thing that they're going to be offended by. Yeah. Yeah, but they it's think not, it's whatever, whatever, that girl said whatever offends me. That's yeah, how yeah, she really believes yeah. that everyone should, it's like her world and we should all just. Yeah, yeah. because I, because she's offended and no one should, you know. Right. But they should all so feel the same right. way as but, her. But these people, this is the thing that drives me so fucking nuts about it. It's like, she'll be like, it offends me. And then, you know, you'll, you'll listen to her talk for five minutes and she'll throw around the word retard or something. You know, it's like right, they don't right, see yeah. that, like. 
there, everyone has these right. fucking things. You're, you're, like you wouldn't, you you literally would not be able to say anything if you were like, oh, that's crazy. It's like, well, listen, my uncle is in an institution, and I it's find a, that upsetting. Yeah, and, you know, you know it's like it's not only it's not only kids. It's in clubs. Somebody will get offended and stand up and try to get the whole audience to leave with them. Like you know, they. Yeah, get, I know. They, like, what are you do, trying to do? Motivate three other people, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I knew someone had it. Oh. <laughs> but you know, it's just it's it's you know what, especially in Let's a all get comedy. in my car and leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Dad. Let's go. Okay. Can we, everybody else do another uh, version of his fucking dumb fucking predictable joke? That was a damn uh, good one. That was a good one. My twin and I are out of here. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm taking my baby too. Oh, okay. Exactly. Really good that wife. Three. Good wife. Uh, anyhow, I've been slamming her all morning. Exactly. I didn't you say really one have. negative thing towards her. I, I love her. her in the lobby. Then again, how good it's read me. my book. <laughs> read her fucking book and don't leave her. In her leave her in the lobby. You know what? That's all she wants. How good was I at free speech when I was 18 or 20? Like it's easy to say that when I'm 47 and I talk for a living. And I've examined this shit because I have nothing to do from fucking nine to five. But when I was fucking what nineteen, if, I, you know what I mean? I would have been the same way. Like, but what, what offended you at eighteen or nineteen? That's, I don't remember. Yeah, I, mean, I don't either. I'm trying to think. <laughs> but I was a, a, an idealist guy, and I, did, I thought my father was racist. You know, you think all that shit. I'm like, you know, everybody's equal, mm -hmm. which you know it theoretically is correct. But I didn't understand how anybody could have a view that wasn't like mine. So when you're 19 and you're idealistic, I guess I would probably have said the same thing. I'm sure we were all shitty at 18 or 19 yeah. when it comes down to us. So they are college students. They're not, it's not like they're fucking 38-year-old people. I just people. feel bad for this professor because you can see that he has seen things change drastically know, in, his, like, in his tenure. So frustrated trying to explain life right. to them. He's, he's having a passionate speech to them. <laughs> they yeah. should appreciate that they have a professor that's willing to argue against yes. the rules of the school. But he's arguing, uh, arguing the First Amendment, and it seems like they don't understand the basics of that. Look, because and they're they at Yale. They can't register because this is they're talking about how their feelings right now. Right. And he's not on the side of their feelings. Right. Right. They're talking about mind. yeah. Well, you should say it's okay to feel that way, but he did. yeah, I people, said, yeah, but people have the right to say shitty things. Yeah. But everybody out there is a minority. He's he's fighting with. There's no. It's Can you imagine minorities. if they saw your Chinaman outfit? Yeah. Oh, right my now? God. Yeah. I have the right to offend you with this outfit. That's I'm right. Sorry. It's like I say, guys, feelings aren't facts. I mean, how often do I say that? You say mm. that all the time. I really do. Well, you gotta, we got to get back to this because this gets really good. No. Uh, push play there. Does that mean everyone else has to stop speaking? But that's not what was no, happening. Hold on. Not no, 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 but so you don't I make agree with the content of your speech. I am as against racism as you are. I am as against social equality inequality as you are. I have spent my life addressing these issues. Even some of the students in my class have been brought to them. But that is different than the freedom of speech. The right to defend people to say whatever they want, including you. Okay. Including your right to write Wait, what you John, want and speak to me, him? which yeah, I will also apologize. defend. I have one more thing. He's annoying what? by the way, this professor. Why? Because he's, he's a little too passionate. Because I've died for the speech. Yeah. He's just a little too he's frustrated, though. Because he's he doesn't understand that he's I don't people. understand why. I'm this just, this, he's annoying oh, me. This is, it's an Ivy League school. He's, he's allowed he's, to say that. That's how he feels. You guys should defend me. I was a little annoyed, and you all attacked me. I feel bullied. I don't like feeling bullied. I was at other institutions. I have defended Anybody people with your views against tremendous opposition. People with your views that the administration tried to ferret out and expel. I will defend you to say whatever you want, yes. anywhere you want. You understand? Except to disrupt a classroom where someone is trying to teach students, which is the Yale policy, by the way. So we're coming up with. But I don't. Now. Why not now the one exception is because other people have rights too, not just. Students. In, a, in total, over 500 students showed up and voiced their concerns to the Yale administration. And now this is where uh, there's some yelling and screaming, right? Yep. Okay. He doesn't deserve to be listened to. Be quiet. Oh, I, I punch him. You understand that? As your position as master, it is your job create a place of comfort and home for the students that you see right there that's but hold on she means that your job is to create a place of comfort and home for students no mm -hmm. that's at that age that's what a little child believes like your job is to create a comfortable place for me but you're not going to get that in the it's real not a world spa but that's yeah, not like, what it's for holy fuck they want to be treated like adults and they want to talk and think like adults but they say create create a place of comfort and home Hmm. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. That's not going to work in the real world. No, it's they're, in, they're, they're in for a big surprise. And she just told There's them no to shut up. no safe space in the real yeah. world. Told the professor to shut up. Like, I would never have said oh, that. Yeah. Then again, maybe I would have. Mm. I would have wrote it. We probably would have. Oh, now they're right honestly. I, I never was fucking met a my instructor, so I said whatever I wanted. That's <laughs> hot. In <laughs> <and> African studies. <laughs> 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 That's cool. You have not done that. By sending out that email, that goes against your position as master. Do you understand that? Uh, no, I don't stop. agree with that. It's sending that you're, it's, sorry, what did she call him? Master. Master. Master? I don't know. She's just yelling. And, listen to her yell. Look, that goes I, against your position as master. It seemed a little. And do we have the actual email? I want to. Uh, yeah, I want to read I'll that after right this up. video, which is uh, going to be over in a few. Listen seconds to her here. screaming like a yeah. little child. Yeah. Fuck! Did you accept the position? Because what the fuck hired you? Oh. You should step down. If that is what you think about being a master, you should step down. It is not about creating an intellectual thing. It is not. Do you understand that? Oh, she's it's good. About what a, child. what a child. What oh a child. What a fucking her... spoiled little brat. Oh. Are her parents embarrassed? She drops her, her. She gets in his face. She drops her back, back, her back backpack. backpack. Be, uh, intimidating. Yeah. And, but the thing is, like, she's swearing and yelling. If he was doing that, she would lose her mind. Yes. I guess that's the same thing. A lot of irony is going but on. But the thing today. is, like, you're supposed to create a safe space, like home. It's but, like, is this how you are at home? But, and you're just mad that he's not acting like your mom. College is already a safe space in general. Not for women. It really is. If you you know the statistic statistically, it's, it's one of it's, it's worse than ISIS. It's gotten for better. Women. It's gotten better. <laughs> She's used to being coddled a it's lot. Got, that that oh. shit gets whatever. That's why I go back Absolutely. to my point. Be shitty to your kids. Yeah. Just a little bit. A little bit. No little one's taste. ever shitty to her. No. 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 You should be at this event last night when you hear a Franco say that she didn't know how to create a safe space for her freshman instillment. How do you explain that? A baby. Do you hear that? They're gonna leave. They're gonna transfer because you are a poor student of the community. Ugh. You should not sleep at night. Oh, oh, oh. How can you with that voice? <laughs> You're Whoa. disgusting. Uh, she's again so just gross. a little child used to getting what she wants, and because he wasn't being rude, he just didn't agree no. with her opinion. And she's just not used to that. And he was arguing his point pretty well. How bad did he want to yell cunt? I know oh, I want to oh. yell it, and she's not even talking to me. Why did he just yell it? People were starting to walk away while she was freaking out. Look at uh, oh, oh, what a yeah, baby. because they they were scared because it wasn't a safe space anymore. Oh. <laughs> you're supposed to create an environment of home and oh, comfort. God, no, no, you're not. Can I see the email? No, yeah. you're not. That's kindergarten. But also, she's so like I don't <laughs> she's know. She's hateable. This oh. is the email. Wow. Oh. Wait, what? Black. Uh, it's Northwest. Uh, no black. Oh, That's reminded. No black faces. Out. And I think it is funny that you would have to like. <laughs> Send out an email. Hey guys, uh, remember no blackface this exactly. Halloween. Exactly. <laughs> we don't need to. Uh, we don't need to glorify them in capital letters. <laughs> Inappropriate. <laughs> I just want the actual email that started this yeah. to see how bad it is. Uh, Someone read anybody this. Guys, under no blackface. No Chinamen. Right. Yale is a community that values. Oh, I love this. <clears throat> Yale is a community that values free expression as well as inclusivity. And while students, undergraduates and graduate, definitely have a right to, definitely have a right to express themselves, we would hope that people would actively avoid those circumstances that threaten our sense of community or disrespects, alienates or ridicules segments of our population based on race, nationality, religious belief, or gender expression. And then it was quickly met with a response from the associated master. Okay, so what she called the uh, master. Okay. It was, it was oh, who wrote the first email? Not a from price. the school. It just, school. Seems, it just, just the wrong. school in general. <laughs> yeah. And then this professor's like, wow, this goes against my belief. So th he said this. Okay. He writes, um, I'm tired of these people infiltrating the world I have created. Wait, what, Their what? dark skin what? has done. <laughs> has, oh, oh, God. He wrote. Uh, <laughs> no, he wrote I got to brush up on my English, I guess. He wrote, is there no room anymore for a child or young person to be a little bit obnoxious? a little bit inappropriate or provocative or, yes, offensive. Whose business is it to control the forms of costumes of young people? It's not mine. I know that. What he said, it made that's perfect brave, sense. That's Jesus. But it wasn't even. It was, it was actually a perfectly logical response. Yeah, of course. Like, that's who's brave, to say which the world is why that girl flipped the fuck out. Well, yeah, she's just, again, instead of going, like, I get why you'd write that, but I still think that you're wrong. What I find so obnoxious about her response to the yelling is that she's the type of person that thinks, if I get super emotional, 
then that's that's why I'm right, you know? Because right. I got so angry and expressed right. it, then everybody should, Hug you know. Me. And yeah. let me tell you, the school board would probably take her side over him in a second. Because she's yeah. smart, and so. she's used to people. She's probably a, a decent talker, so she's used to people going, oh, you're right. But now she's talking to somebody who's smarter than she is, mm -hmm. and she can't handle that, so right. she yells. the frustration and yeah. yelling and she cursing. She can't out-talk. She's probably used to I going, didn't, I didn't like the cursing. I didn't go for it either. I like the master thing. That's kind of a sexual, mm -hmm. calling a man master. I like but that. also, when she dropped her... Her backpack was almost threatening. Like, of course, it was. Yes. It was getting you know. into his face. Oh, oh, yes. To clarify, that email was sent by the master's wife, yes. who is also a master at the school. They uh, both are professors at the oh, school. Oh, and he was defending her speech. Yeah. You're right. Defending the, yeah, they both yeah. agree with And they wanted speech. them both fired. It's, fired it's, over that. They're not going to be fired. No, they can't. Oh, that would be the biggest lawsuit. Um, yeah, the, yeah, it's all personal. Okay. We should take a break. We're uh, running yeah, late Yeah, we have Ian Edwards coming in, too. We got Who is coming? We've got a busy show today. Ian Edwards. Ian Edwards. I'll be in Rochester this here? weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Next Friday at Stanhope House, New Jersey. Uh, Tom? Uh, but the Skirball Center this Friday. <laughs> Rich. What? I just panic there. Well done. And, um, you <laughs> What? Tom will be at Skirball? Sorry, Tom. I was helping but him. I know. <laughs> I know. It just came across weird. I'll be in Erie this weekend, Friday, Saturday. I have a pre-sale today for New Year's Eve. I'm going to be in Rhode Island at the Comedy Connection, two shows. Uh, 10 a.m. is the pre-sale, and the password is just Norton. Mm -hmm. My first time ever in Birmingham, Alabama, Stardome, uh, January 8 and 9, pre-sale. This, uh, this afternoon at noon, pre-sale starts. Password is Norton. Bonnie, you're at the creek. Well, thank you, Rich. I'm at well. the Creek in the Cave all okay. week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. One hour, 7 to 8 o'clock, so please come. Yeah, it's five bucks Bonnie. only, part of the festival. Opie, funny mofos? Fun, uh, ah, no, it's never enough. <laughs> enough. Beat him every time for it. It's a good one. <laughs> All right, Tom Segura um, is here, and we got Ian Edwards next. Yes, the very funny Ian Edwards, who was yes. in that movie we loved. Uh, what was the name of that? Which movie? Shot Tangerine. on the iPhones about the uh, the two uh, transsexuals. Tangerine. He was in that. He was in Tangerine. Yes. Holy fuck. Yes. He's transgender. I just made that up. He's not, or he'd been on the show a lot earlier. <laughs> Wait, who was he in that movie? Why am I drawing a blank? You'll, you'll know him when you see him. No, I know what he looks like. He was that uh, was a great. That was a really good movie, man. Really good, man. I forget the the name of the character he played. Well, Shot on an iPhone. Yeah. Yes, the whole thing. Uh -huh. Well, you know, it is a little bit of a what you know Go because ahead, it's it. actually there's a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, what do you call those things. Filters and what? No, I was, I was saying while you're stammering, Travis should just went to break while you're. Oh like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're trying to say. These though. lenses, and the stuff. lenses and stuff, they're very expensive. And, and dollies yes, and all sorts yes. of stuff. Were they so, using dollies though? Oh god, yes, they had shots yeah. way up high, and yeah, they were doing all yeah. sorts of movie magic. Was it completely just like somebody walking around? Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. It, it, it was definitely a very good movie, Tangerine, and Ian Edwards is in this movie. Did so, you jerk so off during that movie? No, I know I did. Did you really? You bet. What part? The whole darn thing. <laughs> it's a lot of trannies in this movie. Yes. A lot of that. trannies. Uh, Jimmy turned me on to it, though. It was, it was definitely well done. Well, well done. All right, Ian Edwards next. Stay there. We're back. We're back. And a lot of people. Rich Voss to my right. Bonnie McFarlane. We're back on. Yep. Tom Segura. First time on the show, right, Tom? I'm trying to remember if you ever did the show. Uh, I sat in here and mumbled. Briefly? Uh, when uh, Rogan and Gervais were here. A oh, fuck. Ago. Okay, yes, yeah. of course. Uh, right. And then I started a, a conversation on on mic with Ricky while the show was going on. <laughs> it was a side conversation. Yeah. It was pretty smart. <laughs> and it everybody happens. was like, hey, man, could you fucking not do that? Will you shut up? Yeah. We're trying to do something. Yeah. Uh, cool. We got Ian Edwards uh, joining the joining the show, too. It's 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 uh, the comedy festival here in New York, so we got a lot of guys that want to stop yes. in, which is kind of kind of nice that they want to do that. What's up, Ian? What's up, man? How are you, buddy? Hi, Ian. What's up, Tom? What's up, Ian? Oh yeah, I remember. Okay. No, I, I saw Tangerine because of Jim Norton. Oh. Word. And then he he goes, Ian was in the movie, and, and I I just drew a blank for a second. But yeah, of course, I slipped in there. That was a good movie, man. Yeah, it's pretty pretty. Dope. We were trying to figure out the iPhone thing. It was the first movie that was filmed on an iPhone. Uh -huh. But we, Bonnie, who what up, Bonnie? Bonnie hey, was saying that. Good to see you. What happened? Oh, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to remind Richard of Mandy's story that he's. Oh, at Patrice's benefit. <laughs> yeah. 
with with Ian. Yeah. Uh, well, what happened? What, do you what remember I do? in the elevator? She came up to you and said, "Great set," thinking you were Will. Oh, hilarious! Who <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie did? No, 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 no. Mandy. Mandy Is that tall Miller. white girl? No, shit. She's a writer. I can't even remember. Well, she kept going though, and then you were like, "I just went trying to, yeah, just sort of." Oh, I was laughing so hard. That happened so. I, first of all, my memory is terrible, so I can't remember even her terrible identification oh. of me of being Will. Because Will done that poem. <laughs> oh God, yeah. <laughs> and oh, then Will. she was like, "Oh, I just I thought that poem was so good," and you're like, "Huh." <laughs> <laughs> huh? I right. remember the poem. Roses are red, violets are blue. I miss you. Oh, stop. <laughs> 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 I hey. blocked all of that out. That was worse than Patrice's death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She saw you and did the poem, right? It's okay. Up. We were saying about Tangerine with the mm -hmm. iPhone. We were thinking there's some trickery, and it wasn't just an iPhone. They were using all sorts of lenses and other other tricks of the trade to film that thing. Nah, they they had an app from this company that was on the phone yeah. that they developed so they could shoot it on the phone. Okay. And I didn't even know what Tangerine was. Like, they... They saw me at the comedy store and was like, he said he'd seen me before. He said, you want to, you know, I direct, you want to be in a movie. You hear that shit all the time. Yeah. Can you curse on this thing? Yeah. Are we even on? Please do. We are. Yeah. I, I, yeah, we're not we on are. yet. Just keep. Uh, I don't know. We are. I'm, I just no, walked no in. We want to make sure your story's okay first. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, we're going to decide. Today. All right. And then you live edit it and put it on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so then, yeah, then, then I showed up Saturday morning and I, and I might not have shown up, like, as a like a like a skeptical comic, yeah, they tell you to show up at a taco stand in East Hollywood, yeah, Saturday morning after you hang out all night, and I almost didn't do it, and I showed up, and they had iPhones. <laughs> and I, and I'm like, oh, I, You're like, this is not some. They did have celebrities, you know. So. But not, not not on the set where I was. Oh. They had listen. You show up to a movie set. They have iPhones and transvestites. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm like, all right, let's do this. And you still said let's do this. Yeah, I still said let's do. That's the type of dude I am. So <laughs> what did you think? What were you thinking that this is? Turn like... the phones off so I can fuck one of the actresses. <laughs> <laughs> that's James. That's James. That's James. Well, I was do just, they have lenses on the? front of the phones too they had to have something mounted too. yes i think they might have had lenses yeah. and they had like the the stabilizer things but right. like yeah. the things were bigger than the big, phone because i i read yeah. an article i saw some of the pictures of it and it's it doesn't it's not like this i mean the that's phone is even basically a little just what they're viewing what and they're shooting through this here but they're right still using here. the power no no, of the no phone. they're using the phone but they're, the but they're putting uh, but next lenses. To, uh, but there's a lens right there. Like on, but I'm with Bonnie. Next time, it should just be some guy holding his iPhone yeah. the entire time without all the other, you know. How much uh, does this cost? Is that a guy? Me? Huh? No. No. no it's, it's a woman. It's a woman now. Is it a guy that was... No, it's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adamant. <laughs> you didn't see Tangerine? No. It came I out was... It came out very, very good, man. What, what part did he play? He was in. The, he was in this. Uh, fast That's food me joint. right there. Yeah, yeah. She's. She wants to know where her where, where man her, is. her man is. Right. right. Who was played by uh, James Remar? Is that his name? No, not Remar. That's uh, from the guy from hours. The Wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah from yeah. Season yeah. James two. Ziggy. Yeah, yeah. James. Ziggy from The Wire. James Ransom. I always forget his yeah, real yeah, name. James Ransom, yeah, James Ransom. He's awesome. He was yeah. in uh, Generation Kill too yeah. on uh, HBO. He's great. You know what's funny? I just ran into him on Halloween. You want to see his Halloween costume? Yes. Oh, boy. We don't talk about that. Are those leather pants? <laughs> nah, nah. They're just... Coated? Coated. Look nice. Way Thank better you. than Rich's pants. Rich is wearing <laughs> corduroys. Look at, it. Look at his Halloween costume. I ran into him at, walking by the comedy store. Oh, nice. It's not bad. Oh, God, yeah. What's, <laughs> what is it? It's a priest. How would you describe that as like a little... It's a priest, and he has like a doll of a boy wrapped around oh. his waist <laughs> <laughs> it's a great costume he's getting blown by a youngster oh. good for him yeah <laughs> don't go to yell with that costume mm. they would have a no they'd be fine with that at yell what no trigger warning <laughs> they'd be fine with that yell. you think yep oh my god i'm offended it's you're offended like, exactly you're jealous it's it, huh? <laughs> i mix up words <laughs> oh, that's wonderful photo <laughs> yeah that's wonderful oh. getting a nice little blowy <laughs> It's a good picture. Sweet. That's a sweet photo. Can you, I look at your other photos? Yeah. <laughs> you have anything on me? You don't you're, you're not my girl, so go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Just try to buy a club. <laughs> buy a club. Wait, where can you see Tangerine? I didn't know anything. Uh, I think it's on like, like demand and like maybe Netflix now.
And it was uh, it was in theaters, right? It was in theaters. Yeah, it so was it was a full feature shot on an iPhone. Yeah, yeah, yeah full feature shot on an iPhone. How yeah. did it do in theaters? Uh, it was like independent release. I think it did yeah, good for it. It right. got picked up by That's Magnolia Pictures. That's definitely a good film, man. Now, yeah. do you know how much it cost to make? Mm, nah. Well, they used a six plus, right? No, nah, this was before six plus. I think they used three five S's. If yeah, I remember correctly. Yeah. Let That's me explain crazy. what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Rich was making a joke, yes. and it was it, it got such a bad response that everybody just addressed it as an actual <laughs> as, as film a, question. As a real it, question, it was supposed to be a bad. <laughs> and, um, okay. All right, fair enough. I think it was a fair well, question. Mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> I saw. Did you see? I saw on the plane the other day, Southpaw, which was, but fucking Jake, uh, whatever his last name. Wait, wait, no. Uh, oh yeah, don't tell him. Uh, Try to say it. G Gyllenhaal. Was fucking ripped. Did you watch it. Gilligan's Island? <laughs> <laughs> you like that he was ripped in it, mm -hmm. huh? Holy fuck! <laughs> you see how? Yeah, yeah. When you see somebody is he on, that on your vision board ripped. now? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what goes through your mind when you see him ripped like that? I just want to stop eating and fucking just worship his stomach, your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just it's it's amazing that you can see these actors in like two or three months how they get so fucking ripped and so into the part. It was just it's amazing. Can you tone down your gayness? <laughs> <laughs> and your, your wife is here. Jesus. I'm right here. You know She's I mean? right there, dude. <laughs> Push it it's down. It's like I'm pro Push gay and everything, you know, and I, it's just pro uh, gay, but not in your own marriage. <laughs> I would even be fine with it if, but he like then he, it's a mind game because he'll be like, but I'm not. And he'll be like, gross, I'm not. But then but, he'll well he'll, after I come, I'm you'll not. You'll see it. Right? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then the way he just described Jake uh, Gillen. Hall. Yeah, that was yeah. uncomfortable yeah. for everyone. Was uh, like, wow, his body. He gets these, but then he tries to cover up and going, boy, these actors really work hard. <laughs> <laughs> did you see Southpaw? I did not. Let's see a picture of him from Fuck Southpaw. It. Let's see this hard worker. Yeah, let's, <laughs> it's see, hard work. let's see this guy get, that got ripped for his uh, his role in uh, Southpaw. Wow, look at that body. <laughs> yeah, he did get ripped. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. That's no carbs. Is right that there. fucking amazing? Yeah, that's a, that's a, that. All right, I can see why you got off to this. <laughs> yeah, I can nice. definitely. See I can see. I can see why you turned gay. Yeah. <laughs> was he, was he turned? He, he must be turned. in good shape to begin with, though. Yeah, that yeah, is he's probably like that most of the time. Yeah. It's not like me turning into this. It's like he <laughs> <laughs> was like ten so pounds weird. heavier. Yeah, he probably had to lose yeah. like yeah, two or three pounds. Cut out sugar for a week or two for the role. Is Jeez. the movie good? I never saw South Pole. I liked it. It was a little over the top, but when you're on a plane. Like, I had tears, like, three or four times in my eyes at this movie. It was really sad. There was parts that were really sad. You cry sad. when you masturbate? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Only when I think of you. <laughs> <laughs> Once. Wow. It's not often, folks. <laughs> but there it is. So what, out of the wow. park. So what made you cry? What made you cry in the film? It's, it's sad. I, can't, I don't want to give it away. But give away a part in the middle. It's, it's, been, it's, it's been out long His enough. Give it away. Oh, oh, no. No, and oh, no, he, he has a cheer. kid. He's raising a kid. A daughter by himself, you know, which is one of my wishes. And just, <laughs> there's some sad parts. That's all. But on a the plane, there's sad for some reason. We want to know what makes you sad. It's Tell the whole I one. just told you. Just the trailer the tells you the whole movie. Like, I never saw the movie, but like everything you're saying, I've seen in the trailer. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's all Rich saw was the trailer. Yeah. He thought it was just a short movie. <laughs> oh, <All right>. Okay. Ian, what are you doing in town? Uh, part of the comedy festival, right? Yeah, I'm part of the comedy festival. I got a show at UCB on the 13th, okay. Friday, nine o'clock, UCB East. Nice. Yeah. Is it like a like a special show, or is it just a special show? Just me. Oh, yeah, okay. Have some it's, uh, no theme or anything like that. No, no, no. They theme. try to just straight standard. They try to uh, you know ramp it up for the comedy festival here in New York. Yeah, but I just some, bring some, it right back down. Nice. And just say it's just me. Just you doing your thing. Just making people my laugh. Yeah. You work with Rogan a lot too. I see. I always see yeah. Joe's Instagram is got Ian. Are you, are you doing? Are you going out there for Ronda's fight or no? Uh, I hope so. When is that? Because we got some shows. We got uh, Denver and Madison coming up. Last time I saw you was a fight in Boston. Oh Remember? yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. We, and then we went to get something to eat. Chinese afterwards. food. Yeah, Chinese food. Yeah. Um, what you going to row with Rogan? Yeah, yeah. That must be fun. Yeah, it's fun. Do road sells out theaters. It's it's dope. Yeah, yeah, it's a great game. And then you go to fights afterwards. It's like you people. want a contest. Yeah, that's what it's like. Yeah. it's like you want a fucking contest. <laughs> How much time do you get to do? Uh, sometimes twenty thirty. 
Oh, that's yeah, great. That's nice. Yeah, get the time in. Fucking great. It's the best. I've yeah. done it. It's yeah, like, done it, yeah. Right? yeah. Like, you get, you know, it's you fly first everywhere. You stay at the best hotels. You do sold-out shows. Then you go to UFC. You sit right by the cages. And then you're like, this is my life. Yeah. How many he, guys does he bring with him on it? Like, two? Well, he'll do... No, he usually brings one. But I'm saying, like, I've, I've done... The gigs with him, it's like it's the most fun, man. How do you like sitting behind a cage, like it's watching amazing. the fight? You, you, and you have Dana White's like two seats over from you, and yeah. it's it's it, it's ridiculous access. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's crazy access. Yeah, we've had those seats over here. It's They're awesome. It's ridiculous yeah. how cool it it's, is. It's so crazy, man. I'm yeah. going in December. I actually moved a weekend to February of work, mm -hmm. so I, for in Louisville, Kentucky, just so I can go to that fight. I want to see that fight. You going to the Rousey fight? No, for Josie Aldo and McGregor. Right. Oh, right, the one that didn't happen. I'm going out to Vegas. It's nice. Yeah. I'm sure something will happen. I want to see the Ronda Rousey fight. The chick she's fighting looks like Amy Schumer. Holly, um, what's her name? Holly Holm. Is that mm -hmm. going to be an easy fight for her? No, but Holly Holm is a very good fighter, but I think she probably needs more in the UFC before you can put her against Ronda. I think they're, they're rushing it a little bit. But... What are they going to do with Ronda Rousey? She's just, she has no competition. Really. Yeah, it's hard. They, they want her to fight Cyborg, and I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm looking at we're her. just looking at photos now. No, we're looking at her opponent. You, you, when, was she cool when uh, she came in here? Like I heard a few minutes. She's of great. It. Yeah, she's do, really do you know her before that? Have you? Met I met her? her there, and I've talked to her since. What Ronda Rousey? Yeah, yeah. she's awesome. We've she had her on a few guys. times over the years. Is she smoking hot? Lies? She's yeah. so hot in person. Really? And she's yes. lovely. She's very nice. Does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're right. She does look like Amy Schumer there. Yeah, right, right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. definitely. I was like, she's fighting Amy Schumer. And <laughs> <laughs> I drive by in L.A. when I see the billboards. Like, the preacher's daughter. Like, Amy Schumer's in everything. That is their the thing. preacher's daughter. Watch out. Ooh, is her scary. boyfriend uh, MMA? She's dating um, a guy named Travis Brown, who's a heavyweight a fucking big, killer. Savage. Yeah, yeah. She, that's who she should be dating. Like, when you look at Ronda Rousey's boyfriend, you're like, yeah, she shouldn't be out on the town with Jim Norton. <laughs> Fucking a bunch of secrets in the middle, little stomach. You know, she should be out with a guy like Travis Brown. <laughs> wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be crazy if Ronda Rousey liked you Trust and was me, hitting I've, on you? I've tried it. Oh, no, but what, wow. what if she did and she's pushing up on you, but you know she has that crazy ass boyfriend? Um, like, if I knew we could sleep together that night, I would take the beating just for the story. You take the beating for the story. I would take right. the beating for the story. If I knew it was only going to be me and her texting and him looking at her phone, I probably wouldn't do it. Right. Like, <laughs> like don't text me unless we're fucking. Because if he sees this, yeah, and I'm going to get an ass whooping as if we did do something. I want to die for a reason. Yeah. He's right, a big it. guy, man. Look at this. Okay, guy. when she says she wants to fight fucking uh, Mayweather, that's all publicity. Because she, well, she knows it'll never happen. But she couldn't box him. But if she could take him to the ground, she'd kill him. Yeah, but if he if he hit her once, dead, right? No, nah, dead. But I mean, he he would knock her out if he could hit her. But I, I think that she would yeah. kill him. But that's her boyfriend. She, yes. Yeah. yeah. Show us. Show them standing together. I mean, he's just a fucking. He was going to fight for the championship, but he lost to a guy I think named Fabricio Verdum, um, who's who's the champion now. He's a big big kid. This fucking Travis Brown. Oh, I'd fuck him up. <laughs> Definitely. I know we're just looking at photos. I know. The radio. <laughs> what is the Ronda Rousey fight? Look at the size of him. Soon. Like I think a couple weeks. Nice. Yeah, maybe next week. Oh, all right. Yeah, is gonna... it this weekend? It might be. I feel like it's right around the corner now. I don't know. We just... Uh... Huh? The whole show just shut down. Because right <laughs> <laughs> of the Ronda Rousey thing. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Holly Holm is pretty uh, cute, but I think that her... I don't think she's fought in UFC before, has she? Or she's just new to the UFC. She's fought MMA. I've never heard of her. She's undefeated, though. Nine her and zero. Oh. What's her record? Yeah. yeah. Nine What's and the oh. Ronda's twelve and zero oh. between UFC and MMA. It's just a competition. Like yeah, baseball, but it's still uh, basically the sure. same. But that, the level of competition in UFC is a little higher. Definitely. Absolutely. I think. Yeah, of course. And uh, Data Five Hundred is fighting Kim that. Slice. Billy Corbin uh, uh, wrote me saying you know, that we were sort of responsible for that, or had. Had a part in that whole thing. Oh, is that from Dog Fights? Like yeah. from his documentary? You know Dada from Dog Fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Is, you saw the documentary? Yeah. yeah. How amazing was that? Oh, it's great, man. Corbin's uh, the best. I, I, we love Billy Corbin. Yeah, yeah. He does a lot of great thirty for thirties, and uh, he, uh, he's really good and a great talker. But uh, Kimbo Slice is going to be fighting Dada five uh, five thousand. No I, shit. I, I think, is it five? Oh, it's five thousand. I was yeah. saying five hundred. Kimbo Slice to return uh, to MMA opposite Dada five thousand. In February is when the events. Is it going to be in someone's backyard in Liberty City or in? That's how they should do it. I know, how right? Yeah. That whole place <laughs> shut down. Did you so see the documentary Dogfight? No, no. Nah, nah. It's oh, about backyard yeah. fighting. It's really good. Oh, we saw the first half of it, and she couldn't take it. Remember? Hey, I ha yeah. Sorry. Stuck to the seat, huh? <laughs> Why couldn't you take it? Too bloody.
It was hard to watch. What brutal. about the what about the moms that talking shit in their backyard that, in between the, the fights? Best. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. The best. that was hilarious. So what is it? Kids fighting or not? Dudes? A nineteen, eighteen, twenty. You know, the Stada yeah, yeah. Five Thousand started this whole thing to get the neighborhood, you know, out of trouble, basically. And <laughs> really, he, and he set up these fights in his backyard. And they all come, and the police let them do their thing, and and these kids are getting knocked out. That's like human. It is it, it's like human dog fights. Yeah. Yeah. Although that makes, he that makes some money too. But he doesn't do. make that much. He pays the fighters. Yeah. They say a lot of times he makes almost nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's and they wear gloves and they wear mouth, not like little gloves, but they use mouthpieces. Right. But he's the not, footage he got is amazing. Yeah, and he's a very very tough guy. He's a fighter too. Right. He's not just some fucking right. You know, do the kids train? Oh, yeah, yeah. They just go oh, these it. guys want to move on to MMA, right. for real. And uh, I think Dada used to work for Kimbo Slice, He's right? Security for him. Security for him, and, and so now they're going to finally fight. Dada's hair is awful, though. I wish he would stop it's, his hair. It's horrendous. But he's a very large man. But where is Kimbo Slice where, Are they going to do this? Like, is it going to be a regulated fight? Like yeah, it's, it's in be... Bell Bellacor. Oh, it is? Bellacor. Yeah. Bellacor. Bellacor. Uh, Bellacor. Bellacor. So yeah. Bellacor. Will, he, will he make a good... I'm sure they'll make. Oh, that's why Kimbo's probably coming back. Yeah. Like, I mean, with MMA, like they're not making these over the top like boxing fights. You know, are they? No, they're not making millions no. ever. Are Only they? the top, the top, top, top guys are. No, right. The, most of the fights, most of the car guys you see on the card are not pulling in like even really into six figures. Wow, they're getting their fucking head beaten yeah. down. Yeah, you, you got to see all of dogfight. I, the first half I wanted to watch it's it. It's ridiculous. Yeah, Corbin makes it. He's unfortunately he's a yeah. Miami Hurricanes fan, but he's a good guy. I, so, I, did, I did radio with him in Miami. He's out of his fucking mind, this guy. Yeah. He loves talking about uh, Miami. Uh, Does he? He's obsessed yeah. with Florida and Miami in general. Oh, he he Miami. Yeah. Enough of Miami. I'm, I just, I've been to Miami it. once. It was a half-filled room every night. I'm like, why would I ever go back there? That's 2007. So right. he loves well, why Miami. would you go back anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> and then Dada had to shut down his operation. After the movie? Well, it was getting too big. And yeah. then I think he was trying to do it offshore for a while, right? That's yeah. when we talked to him. But I don't know was, how that worked out. It was getting too big. You mean too big people were coming or it was getting... Well, I mean... They thought these, it had to be sanctioned. Yeah, because oh. these kids like were pretty much getting killed. There was one, there's one scene in the movie, you're like, is that guy dead? He got knocked the fuck out. So it's and it wasn't sanctioned, so a lot of the, you know, local yeah, authorities like were getting involved. Knocked in out on the way down, kind of shit. Yeah, you know, where like he hits the ground already out. Yes, yeah. Yeah. brutal yeah. stuff. It was unbelievable. So and the cops started feeling like, well, uh, I guess we can't look the other way as much as we used well, to because it, it was getting too big. Yeah, it was just getting too big in the end. But it's a it's a great film. It really is. Speaking of uh, fighters, whatever happened to our, our friend from uh, the WWE that he was supposed to fight? Oh, uh, CM Punk. CM Punk. I was looking at a video last night, and uh, he was in on uh, like February. So it's been nine months. Well, January, February, he's supposed to fight. Right? Maybe he still will. I don't but know. But it's already been nine months that he announced that he was going to be uh, you know fighting a he fight for the UFC. He probably wanted to train for a year. I mean, he's probably training four or five or maybe six days a week. He probably, you know, to fight in that level, you better be a fucking good fighter. That whole story's been a, a bit quiet, is my yeah, is my point. He's there. probably just training, I'm guessing. And they, they, those guys have been fighting for, you know, a lot of these guys have been fighting for 10 or 12 years. Right. So just to step in because you were a good wrestler, it would be a hard... Yeah. Look what happened to Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Got beat up. All right. Yeah, it's a different ball game. Especially when you sit in, uh, close to the ring and you see those be dudes just leaking blood. It changes everything. It changes right? everything. Yeah. That's like, it, it's like you, you're in the dr changing room. You've been training with somebody. Yeah. And you in the cha changing room and you're getting ready for the fight. Then you all walk down to the ring. And this is how dangerous it is. You kiss everybody before you step into the octane. Like, you can see them. But yeah. it's like, my life might not be the same. After this fight. After this fight. They so, do kiss. Just, so they just kiss and hug like... He's going to be right there. Why are you all kissing? Yeah. And then it's like, nah, this shit might be over. Yeah, things could change forever things right could now. Things could change forever, yeah. yeah. And I it really does, too. Some of those yeah, guys. Yeah, some like, of those guys, yeah. Yeah, your brain doesn't work the same. You're fucking eating through a straw after that. Like, it's just... Yeah, no, is, is it worse or you come boxing? out a shadow. No. Yes. Are people coming out? No, I don't think it's not. I, I don't know. I think I think boxing's worse. worse. Yeah, yeah, man. Because you might be like on that ground game. You're not going to get. No, because boxing, you take a lot more hits yeah. to the head. Boxing nah, and football. A lot of times, I see some elbows. Well, those thrown, are brutal. Yeah. You're right and about some that. Some knees. And it's like, like sometimes I've seen so many people like avoid just an elbow by a fraction. Like that would have been that would have changed that guy's life completely. Broken. Yeah. What the worst one is for me? The the foot stomp. 
Oh. Like all that shit. Yes. I mean, the elbows look brutal, obviously, right. but when they stomp on their feet, I'm like, oh, God, that's got to really hurt. Yeah. <laughs> but you're not doing really too much karate technique. It's just a brawl, basically. Like, you don't see, like, like you say, like a, uh, like a Bill Wallace back in the if day. If you set up in a <laughs> UFC match, you went, hey! Yeah, no. Somebody would grab you and throw you on the ground. Right. There's, so there's no, there's no really karate technique, you know. I mean, martial arts, no. but it's jujitsu, judo. Uh, who's the oh, guy? Yeah, a lot more uh, of that type of thing than old school karate. There's one karate. Karate. Yeah. Karate. 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 Yeah, they don't do fucking. the crane very much. <laughs> so, so, so Bill Saxon wouldn't be able to. Okay, you don't know who he is. No, I know the name, but these guys would just grab you and throw you on the ground. I mean, you might get a kick off, but they're just fucking, you know, they just charge at you and take your leg down. I think you take way more of a beating in a, in a boxing match. Yeah. I really I do. So. Yes. Yeah, because it's, it's 15 rounds or 12 rounds now. The early days of hitting you. And the early days of MMA, they never, t they didn't stop the fights. Now they're finally getting in there quicker, so there's not right. as much damage. Shorter, uh, it's a shorter fight. A lot of it's your ground and pound, where your face is not even getting hit, or it's just jujitsu or not, up against the fence. Sometimes a dude's on top of you, like punching you, punching yeah. you, and like you can use your hands, just like boxing. Mm -hmm. You can use your knees. Mm -hmm. You can you can break somebody's bones. Yeah, well, they try you can break to break their leg, their arm. Their arm. No, you, you can do you can do so many things. I just think it's more brutal. Yeah. You when somebody up. the craziest one to me is when someone's like kind of has someone pinned down mm -hmm. and from there they drop the elbows. Like, yeah. So it's like you know what I mean like someone's laying on their back catching elbows from a dude dropping their yeah. full weight on them. That shit is yeah. the most brutal to watch. Yeah, I'm not saying yeah. it's not brutal. Right. You no, know, no, no, you're not saying that. I'm just. But they, it's a comparison. But it, and going 12 rounds is just getting yeah. fucking hit and and it's head just over punches. and over yeah, again. Yeah, Holy over. fuck. I'll take boxing over that. I went to my first, I told the story, but I went to my first boxing match recently. It was a uh, Golanovic's fight. Mm -hmm. It was really good. It was really exciting in, in mm -hmm. person. I know that's a dumb thing to say, but I fucking loved it. I've never gone to a no, boxing match. No, I didn't match. either. It was so fucking awesome. That dude throws fucking bow. I yes, mean, he does. He's very good. Yeah. Big, tough left jab. I really enjoyed Ooh. it. I would say Triple G? Yeah, right. yeah. Remember when you, do you used to do uh, Peppermint when uh, Shannon Briggs used to come and hang out? Oh, there? yeah, yeah, yeah. The fucking guy was a, just a monster. He fought for the heavyweight title. Yeah. It's funny. He's like, he wasn't the real deal, but he felt like it for a minute. Uh huh. Right. But he wasn't the real deal. He won some matches, though. No, he won uh. some matches. <laughs> he did. I, I was a big Shannon Briggs fan. Why Shannon Briggs? Just because you saw him once in person? He came up to me I've said, never heard of he anyone saying they were a big were, Shannon Briggs fan. He said fan. I was funny, so I became yeah, a big I, 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 I can understand that. That I can understand. But he won some matches. <laughs> some matches. Well, he said for me, the, the best fight back in the day, if you look at a video, was uh, uh, Ron Lyle and fucking... Oh, George Foreman. Oh. No, they, they knocked each other. Uh, and, uh, Ernie Shavers. Ernie Shavers and Ron Lyle. They knocked each other. How'd you fucking know that? Because Ernie guess. Shavers is the, hard, is the they hardest hitter in heavyweight. Each other and heavy down I'm answering about. your question. Oh, sorry. That's his guest. Did you know that? I guess because guess. Ernie Shavers is a fuck, it was the hardest hitter ever. Really? I yeah. still think Foreman might have been. No, no way. And now anyone who fought both of them says I gotta, absolutely I, Ernie Shavers. I got to go back to and watch some Ernie Shavers fights because I. I don't remember. Oh, they knocked each other they, down about three times. They all say Ernie Shavers hit a lot. I think Foreman said that, that he wanted no fucking part of Ernie yeah. Shavers. I like when, when everybody yeah. thought Frazier was the toughest and he fought Foreman. Yeah. And Foreman made him, like, hop. Foreman was just ridiculous. Who's that fight right there? Is that Ron Lyle and Shavers, or yeah. is that Foreman? Yeah. It looks yeah, just, like, oh, they it was punching it out in the corner. Down. It looks like Apollo Creed. Yeah. Oh, that's where Kimbo Slice got his hairstyle from. Yeah, Ernie Shavers does have a Kimbo hair slice. We're mm -hmm. watching like 1971 footage. It looks like if there was an iPhone in 1971, what it would have looked like. It's just a, a steady shot from the, the upper corner. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Apollo Creed, you guys see the posters? There's a movie coming out called Creed? Creed, yeah. yeah. His son fights. I, did, I only saw that for the first time, I think, two days ago. I didn't yeah. know. It's basically right. And then Sylvester what, Stallone seven, is eight. like now helping out Creed's yeah. son? Because he right. died. Everyone's oh, dying but Rocky. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That looks like it's going to be hey, awful. Are we going to talk about <laughs> women's basketball? <or laughs> is this you hate this. I don't blame you. No, no, it's fine. I'm just joking. Yeah, there's Rocky. Training ah, training. Stallone is... Can at least he realizes he can't fight anymore, though. I like that Stallone's... Like, yeah, I don't mind him being an older trainer. Can we see the trailer? Sure. I just saw the poster... Uh, and I gotta see what this movie's all about. I'm sure they'll... they'll oh, is this uh, Michael Jordan? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, yeah.
touching a wall, I'll be careful. You're gonna hurt your hand. You're gonna hands. hurt your hand. Watch yourself. Well, you gotta fight. He's being very tough alone. Now they're showing a train and there's an eagle sign to Philly. You're not built for this. These boys come in here, they gotta fight for life. Oh, well, fucking Wood Harris! Die in the ring. Your daddy died in the ring. Ah, it's Avon Barksdale. I don't know him. Holy shit, it is. nothing there. to do with me. I don't like this I've been part. I've fighting my whole life. It's not a choice for me. Taping his hands. Every punch I ever thrown has been on my own. Somebody show me how to do this. I'm ready. Now he's hitting the bag. Did you show him training? Oh, and the, 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 the yeah, it's good, but it's, so, it's like every cliche of a boxing movie yeah, yeah. so far. So far, yeah. Oh, no. Right. Adrian! <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Letitia. <laughs> yeah. Letitia! <laughs> 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 but you're right. That's so right. <laughs> Also, this is shot on something it's weird. From the 10th round of the first fight, right? The whole thing was a shot on an iPhone. It's a shot on my Android. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, this is what we call the CIA secret. Eight movies yeah. about it. <laughs> How do you know all this? Jesus, everybody knows the whole your Philly legend. But also, isn't uh, Sylvester Stallone like five four? I mean, does this mean this guy has to be that short? Or he has to stand on things? Yeah, he's this little guy, Stallone. So they're they're basically making the Black Rocky, but they yeah. were brave enough to say we're redoing the movie right. as, as the Black Rocky because because uh, he was running down the street like Rocky did. It's all the same scene. Yeah. Yeah, but there was cops I, I behind him. Say, I heard, at one point, he says, "I just want to go the distance." Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> no, guys. you're not what going. Was, uh, you're not you know going. what? You what know did what? he say right Sit before? Sit here and live in it. Back. Wait, move what it did back. he say before Rocky said, "How do you know all this?" I didn't hear what he was in the. He's in like an Italian restaurant. Yeah, it's something about his dad. Let me see. And there's a million. Wait, can you stop this? How do you know this? Look, there's pictures of his father <laughs> fighting Rocky <laughs> on the wall <laughs> in this restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's Rocky's what's, restaurant. What's all this mystery? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How do you know this? How do you know this? I'm just reading the wall. Yeah, yeah. Put all these pictures up, Rocky. Yeah, you're bragging about this shit. Let's not know about this. <laughs> Wait, go back. I can't hear. Unless he told a secret. Mm, let's yeah. go back, okay. It's more than a name. My dad was cut? How do you know that? It's from the 10th <laughs> round of the first fight, right? What? There you go. 10th round of the first fight. It's a picture from the 10th round of the first fight, oh. right? So, oh, 10th round, okay. okay. And then I heard about a third fight between you and Apollo. Behind closed doors. Oh, that one. Is that true? How do you know all this? <laughs> Is he a gangster now? How do you know all this? All this well documented shit. How do you know this Googleable stuff? Yeah. The third fight, though, was the one at the end of Rocky 4 yeah, yeah, or 5. 3. 3. Yeah. Behind closed doors. That nobody knew about. Okay. okay. But How do you know all this? Yeah, but I think that could have came out. It could have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There could have been something else. Yeah. Maybe, oh, you know what? His mother's Felicia Rashad. So maybe he said, like, you know, my father. There was a drugging and fucking women. I think you're saying, like, I know you're the one with HIV, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. How do you know all this? Wow. You, you know what the crazy thing is? Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to bring you back. I got, you know, he he went, went for the callback. I, I, I understand. Oh, shit, Michael B. I'm Jordan is probably too young to be Apollo Creed's son. Right. That's right. He was born yeah. in 76. No, but he died. What year was no, the they, Rocky Three? They explained it because he didn't know his dad. So, like, he was like a baby baby. Oh, his dad dumped a load somewhere? Yeah, and then and died. And then, but how old is, is he supposed to be in this movie? Um, I don't know, probably 23, 24, oh, but tops. I'll tell you, the mother's different. Felicia Rashad was not Apollo's wife. When did how Apollo... long ago was uh, the, the Rocky where Apollo Creed died? Rocky Four. Rocky Four. What year was that supposedly taking exactly. place in? Oh, they, f they figured this out when they were doing the outline. I, guys. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. No, the know. mother's different. The not, mother would too not old. Not when they say, how do you know all this? <laughs> now I got to check. Yeah. 1985, Rocky IV. So he died in 85. So, so one... So the kid would have to be 30. Unless they're, yes. unless they're yeah, doing I a think, time regression. Yeah. I know. 
At the youngest, the kid would have to be 30. He, a lot of people don't know this, but he... Did he um, froze he his froze, cum? Yes, <laughs> froze his sperm? Yes, right, yes. th- th- this kid is a... Uh, no. That's a good point. Let's uh, play this out. How do they explain this? My son. Well, him and Rocky are training, he's training him. Oh, no. There's a lot of drama. Yeah. Someone spitting fire? <laughs> yeah. Yuck. A great fighter once said, It ain't about how hard you can hit. Ah. Uh, it's about how hard you can get hit. Uh huh. Right, Bob? Get, get back up. Get back up. Another great fighter has said, Don't fight when you're 30. <laughs> <laughs> Start younger. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad died five years before you were born. That is so thing. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. How do you know all this? My yep. father came in a cup and we kept it in the freezer. <laughs> I'm buying into all this because Michael B. Jordan was born in 1987. So I'm totally in. I'm, the math works out for me. I got no problem. He's but, playing but younger. Apollo Creed died in 2085, yes, right? Yes, so it doesn't work. Well, it doesn't so work. Even a, in real life, it doesn't work. Yeah, even in 10 months, it doesn't work. Yeah. They're, they're basically saying this is a young kid. Yeah. Following yeah. his yeah. father's footsteps. They're, they're not saying this kid's 30. They're hoping you don't remember. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. died in 85. Whoever said that, math. that was a good call. Mm-hmm. All right. Creed. See this guy here? That's the toughest opponent you're ever going to have to face. I believe that's true in the ring, and I think that's true in life. You're showing me something. They're looking into a mirror. Yeah. Ah, they close on Rocky's words of wisdom and two <laughs> slow punches. <laughs> <laughs> but in the other trailers and commercials, there's a lot more Rocky, where he, uh, while he's training him, uh, has some sort of uh, accident and is brought into the hospital. And uh, you see him all hooked up to machines and poor Creed, because he's about to lose, like, his second father. Oh, oh no. See what I'm saying? Rocky broke his hip. Some old man injury. <laughs> wow, the trailer has 11 million views. It doesn't look that bad. No, I'm just it happy to see Wood Harris doing it. something. I love him. I'll see it. So oh, he could have fucked whoever, uh, the mom, and died like right after. Still wouldn't have worked. It's math- 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 mathematically later. impossible. Oh. The kid is still 31. Well, maybe the movie took place two years ago. Yeah, three years ago. Mm. All right, we got to take a break. Doesn't got, work. Got a few commercials. Doesn't to get work. To. Right, I'm getting out. I'll be in Rochester this week. Where are you weekend. going? Why uh-huh. are you going? I'm going because I, I got to go back to Jersey. I got that fucking stuff to do. Why wouldn't you go right to Rochester from here? What kind of awful routing is that? <laughs> what are you talking? Oh, I'm you're not going in to Rochester tomorrow. tonight. Oh, okay. I'm going tomorrow. I, whatever. I'll explain. You're you're staying till the end. Yeah. I'll stay till ten thirty. Oh, thank you. That's the end. <laughs> oh, it is? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, what do we got? We got a lot of plugs here. Uh, let's go from left to right. Tom Segura, where are you going to be, buddy? I will be at the Skirball Center this Friday, 13, 10 p.m., and uh, John Lyman Center, Performing Arts, New Haven, Connecticut, on Saturday. Bonnie. Creek in the Cave, Wednesday. That's tonight, right? Wednesday yes. through Saturday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And um, also um, Friday night, I'm somewhere in New Jersey. In the <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Some cave. Google it. All right, hold on. You found the clip. I, I got to do this. Look. Here's the clip with Rocky in the hospital. Oh, no. It's terrible. All right, let me see this. Hey, somebody help! Uh-oh, yeah. Rocky's sick. I found Rocky's sick. <laughs> Rocky's sick. <laughs> well, well written. <laughs> that, and that was a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good diagnosis. Rocky's Yo, sick. Rocky's sick. sick. <laughs> uh, what happened to him, Doc? Uh, Rocky's sick. Yeah, he's <laughs> rumored to have HIV, and Radar Online was talking about it. <laughs> Oh, play, now play it's out. funny. Play it out. Thank you. Did you say that before? I tried to do that joke before. And everyone oh, I didn't like hear it. I was dozing off. <laughs> <laughs> play it out. Hey, somebody help! Rocky's sick. <laughs> no, he said six. <laughs> Rocky's six. I ain't gonna shake it. <laughs> Everything I got is moved on, and I'm here. Oh, why is he talking like that? They didn't give him a little stroke, did they? <laughs> oh, no, no. And I'm here. <laughs> oh, I think it's like every take. They're like, can you just do it one more time and <laughs> try to make it so we can understand you? So and then so they then... wrote the stroke into the story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More Eric Robertish. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I'm here. Why is he talking like that? He You're sounds right. like fucking. Cut your thumb off. They took my thumb, thumb Charlie. Creed, they took my thumb. The dog is a time. If I break, I ain't gonna fix it. I found-
Everything I got is moved on, and I'm here. I'm standing right in front of you. Just like any other fight. So if I fight, you fight. I found. Uh, he's got. Maybe he's got cancer. Maybe he's got cancer. I think they gave him a stroke. I think they gave him a stroke. I think they gave Rocky like a stroke. stroke for this movie. I yeah. fight, you fight. He wants another Academy Award. <laughs> Oh no! Oh yes. Rocky! Yes. Oh no! Oh no! Yes. Oh, um, stop with the same. Can you make there's your... something so ominous about a heavy bag with some snow on it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there really is. They stole our roof. They stole our roof. <laughs> they stole our roof. <laughs> they took my roof. <laughs> steal anything in Philly? <laughs> <laughs> took a roof. Yeah, yeah. I shingled, but they're you ain't gone. Kidding, man. Yeah. Philly's a rough town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, plays. Uh, Bring back everything that's ever hurt you. All the pain you had inside. Oh, fucking weird. They don't know what we've been through. You belong here. I found. Oh, he's wearing the he's wearing the shorts. Yeah. Get yeah. let let them shorts go. <laughs> They're fucking forty years old. Let the shorts go. They're from the first Rocky. That was nineteen seventy six. Tradition, pal. That's thirty nine. No one wears forty year old pants in the fucking ring. And they only wore them because it was the bicentennial. Exactly. That's right. Let's wear the shorts. These were your father's you shorts. Grab one of these birds. Are you serious? I am the serious. The birds. Oh, this is a comedy. Oh, party. the chicken oh, thing. Hilarious. Now he's gonna grab it and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> he grabbed it right away. I mean, though. what was his line after that? Go back. So, you I mean, slow old white uh, motherfucker. First of all, he grabbed it right away. It's fucked up to have a black dude chasing a chicken. <laughs> 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 Dead wrong. Dead wrong, Rocky. You should have seen what they do with Rocky's training as an accountant, though. It's even more than that. I'm going to roll this penny down the street. <laughs> you should be able to grab one of these birds. Are you serious? I am serious. Chickens are slowing down. <laughs> Chickens wow. are slow. Yeah, hello, hello, yeah. hello, comedy there, uh, Maybe that oh, chicken yeah. had a stroke. <laughs> Chickens <laughs> are slow. <laughs> I think they gave Rocky a stroke for this movie. Oh, oh my god! My god. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't want to see stroke Rocky. No. <laughs> oh, it's clearer. <laughs> I Felicia Rashad is the mom, but she yeah. wasn't the wife. The yeah, wife. Yeah, but I don't. Is... Even, I think she's too old to be. The how mom. old is How old is Felicia Rashad? She looks she like is. she's wearing a maid uniform in every scene in the movie. But wait, what happened to Rocky's wife? Did she die in a movie? I oh, think. Oh, yeah. I don't know where. Did Adrian die? Yeah. Yeah, they showed the tombstone. She died in. Um, God, I don't remember all these movies anymore. She oh, she. They had her fighting in Rocky Seven. Oh, she okay. lost. <laughs> she was killed by Ronda. That's what happened. She, she's sixty. <laughs> she's sixty-seven. In so real that life. means she had that when like when she was like uh, 45. forty-five. She, yeah, she looks good. Kid. <laughs> yeah. The so, so, math you know is all fucked up for this movie. See, you could have another baby. <laughs> Thank you. According to IMDb. <laughs> <laughs> according to IMDb, she is playing the same wife, uh, the same character as uh, Apollo Creed's wife in the other film. Who's the first woman? Uh, I don't know. Let's Google her and see what happened. I think I'm still in. I think I still, still want to see this movie. Still is there a third trailer we can uh, uh, exploit? <laughs> <laughs> Sylvie Mills probably 75. Um, Find her or you're fired. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Find her, you bag of shite. There's no age. <laughs> there's no age. Is, there's like no information. She did three movies. Sylvia Mills? She's playing two of the Rockies. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember her. Wait, what is this? They're going through all the questions. What's a minor part of the story? That's Wait, the, go, the start, nice start from the beginning. This might be a good article, actually. I think they're trying to an answering the big questions raised by the Creed trailer. Okay. okay. Why is Rocky consorting with a... I can't read that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> first trailer for Creed. The newest edition of Rocky franchise was released yesterday. It looks uh, ambitious. Michael B. Jordan plays Adonis. Oh, Adonis and Apollo. Sylvester Stallone stinks at naming things. He's the worst. Clubber Lang. Yeah. It's just a douche name. Uh, oh, I can't read you. Uh, yeah, Thunder Lips. It looks very ambitious. He plays Adonis and Apollo. So Stallone's back. is Rocky. Felicia Rashad is in it. Wood Harris. Okay, I can't wait. Let's talk about this. But first, watch the trail. Right, there are three main questions that. to address, as well as three small and more specific questions. Okay. Is Avon Barksdale the new Mickey? That's not a question. That's not a good question. No. All right. 
right? No, he's... Who's, uh, the, who's new the new bad, bad guy? guy? That's not a good question. No. No, uh, no one gives a fuck. Uh, what's the minor part of the story that you'd like to have revealed right this second? No one gives a shit. No. Uh, how he never met Apollo. Right, right there. Apollo, go. right there. Uh, Apollo, Apollo, who's... Oh, was married... Okay. Who was married when he died, oh. had an affair, and got a woman pregnant. She watched him get beat to death by... by Ivan Dra Drago. Drago, right. Oh, well, Adonis well, was growing inside of her. Inside of her. Why would they write that? Apollo's well, wife is pregnant. She watched him get beat to death by... All right. Okay, so Ivan, Apollo's wife... Twice? Wait, uh, Apollo, who was married when he died, had an affair and got home pregnant. She watched him get beat to death. Apollo's wife was pregnant. She watched him get beat to death. Okay, those both things, uh, two, that means two of, one of two, of, oh, one of them is true. Yeah. Right. Both of those oh. are awful realities to have to choose from. Uh, but one he, of them is true and one of them is not. But is he really 30 okay. years old? That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Uh, uh, how perfect is this movie as the next step in the Rocky film franchise, whatever? It is so perfect. Keep yeah. going. <laughs> Uh, keep going. I'm just. He's uh, not gonna... Where will Adonis Creed fit in the Rocky? Right, and whatever. how great is the name Adonis whatever. Creed? It's terrible. It's a mm. typical Stallone name. Totally. You know, we're gonna call you Fighter Killer. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Good name. laughs> like, the, the thing is, I hate in movies when they all. It's like if a guy's like a, you know. Um, Loves money, like his last name is Bucks. You know, it's like the they always Bucks. do Hilarious. that weird. Or Co Cobra. His name is Marion Cabretti. Yeah. But they give him the name Cobra. I Ugh. just don't like how a serious Adonis Creed is. Like, remember how fun Apollo was? Mm -hmm. Even the moment before he died. That motherfucker was fun. Yes, he was bouncing so he was, around a ring. But he was, and, he was basing himself on Ali. Right. But where'd you get this serious ass son from? That's true. His son is I don't think, I, I'm going to go on record and say I don't think that's really his son. And, uh, I know it's not his son, but... They, oh, you think I this think is a whole fucking six degrees of separation <laughs> thing? Uh, whatever <laughs> her name hustler. is, <laughs> she stole that baby. Mm. That's another movie They're that's, that's going to come out. Well, you came in here fucking on fire. I really, yeah, not doing good. <laughs> People wonder if, uh, if Rocky's going to die in Creed. He's not going to die. I bet no. he does. I bet he totally no, dies. He's not dying. I'll put money I, to down be right fair, now. I'm He'll not die in the exactly second one if this in, does well. Not in the yeah. pocket, you know what I mean? I don't really know anything about boxing or fucking Rocky movies, but I'm or trying. Lines. Uh, I'm all fucking with you. That was just mean. <laughs> don't. Uh, <laughs> that was unsupportive. <laughs> the fuck, man? What the fuck? We're having fun here, man. What? What? It's a safe space, you motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Can somebody throw him out? <laughs> <laughs> I, hopefully it's you. I, I, will put, I will put money down right now, and I think they're saying it here, too, that right before the fight, Rocky dies, and that's like the thing that pushes Creed like to the limit. Uh, oh, I uh, hope so, because there's nothing I would enjoy more than just seeing him win the title. <laughs> I think Rocky is shit. What the fuck? I think they could do like the flashbacks for the right. second one. Yeah, you might be right. I'm dying. Yeah. Can we do our plug? <laughs> I didn't do mine yet. That's what yeah. I'm saying. We. Oh, oh you sweetie. Saying, We're getting to plugs. All right. Don't we still have time? I have two pre-sales today. New Year's Eve in Providence, Rhode Island. I'm doing the connection. Uh, Pre-sales today at 10 a.m. Birmingham, my first trip to that uh, mecca of entertainment. Stardome, January 9, 8 9. And uh, today at 10, our pre-sale tickets. Password is Norton. And then I'm in Erie this weekend. Uh, Ian Edwards. Uh, UCB East this Friday, 9 p.m. Yeah. And uh, I'll be in uh, Denver and uh, Madison, Wisconsin with Rogan, 20th and the 21st. Very cool. There was a, there's a reaction video of a guy watching uh, the Creed trailer laughing his ass off. So I, I would love to know what he felt <laughs> about that. Uh, Rich Voss, please. Uh, this weekend, Rochester, the Comedy Club, Thursday through Saturday. Next Friday, Stanhope House, December 4th and 5th. Me and Florentino working together uh, in Connecticut. Go to Treehouse Comedy. Dot com, and also I'll be at the Comedy Connection in Rhode Island on Thanksgiving weekend. Beautiful. Come see me and Florentine together. It's, it's going to be fun. Oh, that'll be great. Uh, you guys got to watch the Creed uh, reaction <laughs> video, see if they're worth playing on the radio, okay? Yeah. We'll be back. Stay there. we got Tom Segura, Ian Edwards. I think Rich and Bonnie have... Uh, they died. They died? Okay. They're dead. They're dead. I can pay for the funeral, I guess. Yeah, why not? Put them in the same fucking casket. That'd be the <laughs> ultimate punishment. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about the debate last night, but with that said, we found another moment from the Rocky trailer. No, no, no. no. We have one more good clip that uh, we laid off. Today, oh, today. oh I was hoping. Story. Oh, okay, I was hoping it was another clip from the. I mean, I called it the Rocky, the 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 Creed movie that's coming out. Yeah.
Uh, where are you at with the uh, the debates there, Ian Edwards? Are you following any of this stuff? or I missed the last few. You got a guy in this race? Uh, nah. Like, it's just tough to get excited, even if Hillary wins or she, or she wins the nomination. Yeah. Like, we've already had a black president. That's, like, the ultimate thing. Yeah. So it's like, you got to come down from getting a blowjob in an orgy and fucking all bitches mm. to just a hand job. Hillary's just a hand job. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 Obama it, was the blowjob? Ob Obama was like sex in an orgy, a blowjob, three your, hot chicks. Your ass was eating out. Sure. Your ass was yeah. eating yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. And Hillary's just like, I'm going to give you this hand job. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, like, I'll jerk you up behind I can't, yeah. I can't get excited about I, I was a white woman president as much as I could about a black dude. Yeah. You know, who could get shot in the back. Becoming president, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was the thrill, knowing he, uh, yeah. he could die at any moment. Yeah, I was telling Tom Segura, I think I think Bush is done. Finally, I think he's done. He what just, happened last night? He, nothing again with the guy. Uh -huh. He can't he can't get this thing going for himself, and he's obviously very qualified, but he just comes across as a dud. I th I think you you see him tapping out within the next week or two. He's doing that blind faith thing. Like they had that interview with him where they go, "Well, do you think that um like Rubio would be qualified to be president?" And he goes, "I'm the best candidate." Yeah. And then repeats it. Yeah. Like, Who should oh, that? It's like desperate Jeb Bush. Like that desperate thing where you go <laughs> like, "I'm the best." Yeah. And they're asking you about somebody else. No, but I could do it. And you're like, "Oh." Yeah, it's like, childish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like do you think he's do you think he's ready to pitch on 3 days rest, but I am. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm asking about him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. But what are you going to say? Well, yeah, I mean, it's I, I get the tactic, but it's also like he's, you know, I think he's done. I think he knows he's done. He was kind of like, I'll just hang on. I'll give one more shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. he's a vice presidential choice. Maybe. And then uh, I guess people are saying Rubio had a good one, had a good debate last night. Uh, and then Ted Cruz is just creepy to listen to. Yeah, he's just weird. That he's voice is, that's like a Pixar character or something, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's got a maniac. cartoon voice. He, he, he would make a lot of money in that world, I think. Probably he's so he's so ultra right wing though it's kind of hard to like right. you're not gonna you can't win on if you're the extreme on either side anyway so you're also just in it for I guess the FaceTime or whatever like you know you're not gonna win yeah Bush won what? George, George but W won he was like a real religious conservative so but not not like Cruz Cruz is like the ultra Tea Party guy you know like he's 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 an extremist I think he's just such a pretender he'll be whatever he thinks the votes are gonna be. Yeah, you know. Well, that's how you win these things. Yeah. In the end, right? Yeah, no. You know, like I don't think, I think Obama played it down the middle. True. You know? And but these guys, they just, I don't know, the shit that they're saying. It's like, do you believe this shit you're saying? Right. I don't believe this. They're just saying it because they think that's what people want. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, that's politics 101, though, right? Yeah. You know, you got to win but, the middle. But it's, though. it's gotten so much worse. Yeah. Like the shit that they're saying. Yeah. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. You think, uh, and Rand, Rand Paul's going for FaceTime, too. He, he he knows he doesn't have a shot at this I kind of like him because he like has hair like Mr. Brady in the final two seasons. <laughs> in the final two <laughs> seasons. <laughs> Why the two seasons? You remember those last seasons when he had like the fucking curlier perm? It's hilarious. The Mike Brady perm at the end? I kind of like that when he was just beginning to really um, get tired of pretending. I like, his, I like how chill he is. He just sounds like he's high or yeah. just very chill. But very smart, man. You know, yeah. very articulate. Yeah, that Rand Paul, but it, he's going for FaceTime as well and sure. exposure. And this was a GOP debate last night. Yeah, yeah. How did Trump do? Nothing. Nothing. I mean, nothing. I don't think he, he really wants to win. Part. He's just treading water while they all fight at the bottom. <laughs> That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. I think yeah. he doesn't want to win. I think he's saying crazy shit and he can't believe that they're still. He's, they're still. He's up there. He's like, what the fuck do I got to say <laughs> right. to lose this right. fucking yeah. thing? Yeah. Right. People are crazy. I think yeah. he got into it because it was fun and stuff. And now he's yeah. like, holy shit, I don't really want this, yeah, guys. He, I don't think he wants this. You don't say that shit if you want this. I don't know if you're that. You, you, I, I don't know. I think he'd. Uh, I don't know what are we talking about. I don't know. Yeah, we have one last clip before we get out of yes, here. Yeah, do. what do you got over there, Eric? So there's a there's a guy that's in California. Oh right, he was thing. tired of. Uh, there's there's a teenager who was driving unsafe unsafely on a regular basis. So mm -hmm. this guy confronted him. Okay, here's the clip. You run by Browns Valley School every single morning. You blow through stop signs all the way over here all the time. You guys think it's funny? I'm recording you and sending it to the cops. We have a ton of people who complain about you. Too late. I already got you. I got you on dash cam video blowing through stop signs. Okay. All right. I'm sending it to the cops. You guys have been talked to about before by your principal because they complained to you about your principal. So you guys need to stop. 
Okay. You understand? Sorry about that. There's my son goes to Browns Valley. You're blowing through stop signs. There's kids riding bikes. You're going to kill somebody right. someday. Cool. Sorry. What's that? Take videos of people? Yeah, I can. No, this yeah. is unlawful. This no, is... it's not. This is not an unreasonable... Oh, 911 right now. I'm That's getting, fine. I'm getting molested. No. You touched me. Yeah, you I didn't touch me. you at all. You I've touched got me. It on I video. felt you. They all saw you <laughs> touch me. Okay, I've got you it on video. You molested me, fool. I've got it on video and you molested me, fool. <laughs> Hey, you molested me, fool. <laughs> so NorCal. You hella touched me, fool. <laughs> I think it's on video. Yo, they all saw you molest me, fool. Okay. Yeah. He's trying to have some negotiating power, so right. the guy be like, oh, all right, all I don't right, need this right. headache. I'll delete this funny. video right away. He, he You're went, right, I molested you. He went, that kid went uh, white and then cholo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. It was like, I'm, I'm going to talk to you white and then yeah. revert to cholo. And what happened in the one moment when the guy walked away? Okay, good. I'm sorry. Gee, so sorry. And then one of them said, say, he molested you. Yo, you molested me. <laughs> right. That'll work. Watch. He walks away. And then he, what? he's like, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, so all, you touch me. Okay. Oh, you not, not, yeah, not. This is not an unreasonable. Oh, 911 right now. I'm That's fine. Right. Right. Yeah, right. Like, You're going to kill somebody right. someday. Cool. Watch. He walks away. Stop. What's that? Videos of people? Yeah, I can. No, this yeah. is unlawful. No, it's not. Still this white, right not there. Yeah, white. Yeah, white. Yeah, yeah, very white. Right I'm, That's getting, fine. I'm getting molested. I'm getting molested. Yeah. Yeah. Very white. Right. You you I video. felt you. They all saw you I touch me. Okay, I've got you molested video. me, fool. I've got <laughs> you molested <laughs> me, fool. <laughs> hey, you got it. Listen, man. Hey, home. Listen, man. Pick a character and stick to it. Yeah, exactly. Don't be trying to switch this shit up. Listen. Put your hand on my pants. Holmes, Holmes, say he fucking touched you, fool. Touched me, Holmes. First you of all, that's not a molestable accent. <laughs> <laughs> you molest me, You don't me, molest fool. cholos. Uh, we, well, so what happened with this? Did he call the cops or did they... I don't know. God I, damn it. I'm sure he just got... He left finally. We, uh, we put the video up on our Twitter. That's unlawful. <laughs> That's unlawful. <laughs> you molested me. Can, can I show these guys the, the Chinese guy that got crushed? Oh, God. I want to laugh at that again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, you, I know you're not supposed to laugh at this stuff, but this is hilarious. Well, Did you see well, this? Where the no. guy, they, they, they got a garage and he's bringing them in, you know, to work on the car, uh -huh. a, a mechanic, and he's kind of doing this. And then the guy revs, here's the video, the guy oh. revs the engine and just fucking oh, pins him. He's got his clipboard, he's waiting for the car to come in. Oh, oh shit. Ah! What the fuck is this guy doing? Oh, oh my god. I think he says, don't do that. I don't think he meant to do that. And then watch this. These Asian guys come in. They never, they never show emotion. Guy. Nothing. No emotion. That's cold as ice, man. Right? Especially this guy in the red t-shirt. He's just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. a fucking it's cool like, customer. He doesn't know what to do. This guy's seen jacks yeah. dropped on people's oh, hands. He's had some shit happen in that garage. He looked back there like there was a cup underneath the tire. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. Nah, you know, you nah, ran over a bottle. Nah. <laughs> no emotion at all. What a great oh, sound. a cup underneath yeah. the tire. Jesus. One more time. One more time. <laughs> one more time. Ah. Look at this guy. You think that was the longest two seconds of his life as the guy's trying to back yeah, up? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> what amazing acoustics in that room. That's the best room for a guy to get run over in. I, I think he's really saying don't do that. That's a, but that's such a level of pain when you don't you go you know you could do words but you don't know the words. So yeah. he just kept yeah. Well, he's probably it's probably Chinese he's saying. I don't think he's saying uh -huh. No? Oh, no, no, that. Yeah. Yeah. That's universal. That's why the guy's name was driving. I bet you he'll never stand there again. I bet you will never stand again. That really was, he could not have been in a worse place to stand. Yeah, except yeah. right in front of the car. It took the driver long enough, too, to switch oh, that oh, shit. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? oh now he's panicking. And then, but then I those see. two Asian guys that walk in, like, Dude. what happened? Yeah. Yeah. Put it what happened? So one of the guys that was standing there was the driver. Oh, you think that's what? what the the right? one of the guys that got out oh, of the car. Oh, was he? he goes, what happened? What did I do? Did I hit you? I <laughs> know, right? <laughs> we see one more time oh, just to I'll... get the right. Yeah, one more. All right. Can the door open?
for that rubbing shit. <laughs> that. <laughs> I hear don't do that. I hear don't do that. Oh my god. Those are some really good shells. Look, they this stayed dude. up. This guy's what's like, that on the I What's that? Right. That's, the the That's the driver. That's the driver. Yeah, okay. glasses. Yeah. The guy in the red shirt is like, uh, no, you can't. Yeah. No emotion. That's the red just shirt. scary to me. Not at all. The fucking bad guy from Karate Kid 2. <laughs> <laughs> he, looked like, he looked like he was looking for like a safety cone behind the, <laughs> yeah. the car, you know? <laughs> Not a human. Oh, God. God damn. I, I, There's no panic. I want to know what happened to the guy. There's got to be an article out there somewhere. Find it. He's got a couple broken bones, that's for sure. Yeah. He's got something. His face bounce. <laughs> One of my favorite is his Mike Myers face bouncing <laughs> off the hood. That made me laugh. Yeah, he looks like a Mike Myers character. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. I gotta see the Mike Myers. <laughs> now I gotta see him looking like Mike Myers. He does look like Mike, Mike Myers, can. Yeah. Watch how fucking fast he kisses the hood. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to push the car off. <laughs> <laughs> and his hair doesn't even get messed up. How does your fucking face bounce off a hood and your hair looks exactly the same? Exactly the Dude, same. You're right. I think the red shirt guy is the driver. He just the gets out no. and like, no, no, it's, no, the, it's the other one. He came no, from the, the wrong side. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We, we might be thinking American. What side is the car? Is the, is the, the, the uh, where, where is this? The wheel on in China thing? depends on where they are. Right, right, right. It could be. Cool. And it is a small ass uh, shop. Why are we thinking China? It could be Queens. It could be Astoria. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> could be. Looks like a Napa. Be. This could be NorCal, Holmes. This could Let's be. There you uh, go. This could be San Jose. Yeah. <laughs> was, uh, you fucking hell of hit that shit bad, Holmes. You uh, molest me with wait, your car. Wait, they're saying Necker Street, right? Or Neck? What does that say down there? Ah, whatever. Who cares? I'm sure the guy's fine. I think he's uh, fine. I'll <laughs> <laughs> be alright. Doesn't sound like it. Ah, don't, ah. don't do that. <laughs> 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 I think we did it. Let's yep. get out of here. All right. Uh, Tom Segura, pleasure, sir. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Friday you at the Skirball Center. And also, what is your podcast with your wife on? You're on Rogan's Network, right? Yeah. Uh, no, we're on All Things Comedy. We, oh. we have a show called uh, uh, Your Mom's House. It's, a, it's very uh, juvenile, and yeah. <laughs> we're helping this kid who's uh, trying to get, he's trying to get into fart porn, and we, we called him, and we found him, and we we're, that's kind of our... <clears throat> latest mission so we we talked to him we put it on our show and then a studio is is trying to get him in the business now yeah it's, it's really a kind of like a make-a-wish thing we're doing with uh with our show right now awesome. so you, you guys, guys give cool. back man I love we that. do give back yeah I love that. yes and ian edwards yeah man uh, uh i forgot your plug sorry he's at the uh, ucb tonight there it is. okay no, friday night friday, friday, night. friday, friday night. the 13th bad day yeah uh 9 p.m ucb east 150 something. And search out that movie Tangerine. I'm telling you, it's yeah, really, really good. Really good. Ian and Tom are both great. And not, I'm not guys. a huge fan of the trannies either. So <laughs> it, I still enjoyed it immensely. No, it's, it's a solid movie. One of them got mad at me. Why? One of the trannies? Yeah, because in the scene, there was a lot of improv. So she's arguing with me, and I said, I said, uh, what did I say? I called one of them a man or some shit. So. She still never got over it. Well, she got to understand that when you're when you're improving something in a, in a character, you're not you know. Right, I know, I know. It was the first movie too, but yeah, she never got over it. You can't you can't not get over that if you're trans. It's like you, people right don't always get the right pronoun, or people have different ways they look at it. Fucking relax. Yeah, and you're you're doing it for a I was, movie. I was, yeah, I was just you're in the middle of the scene. Like I didn't say it outside of the, of the movie. Absolutely, said it in the scene. Yeah, right. Oh, Ian. Yeah. Thinking that might work in How some way. How could you? Yeah, I know, right? Jimmy's got Erie this weekend. And both my pre-sales, New Year's Eve in Providence, that will probably sell out. I haven't been there in a few years Okay. at the Comedy Connection. And then Birmingham. Everyone has been telling me to go down there and do that stardom. It's supposed to be an awesome club. That's January 8, 9. And uh, on Twitter and my Facebook uh, fan page, I put the pre-sale. Is it? Uh, oh, 30 minutes ago it started. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> 10 a.m. All right. And, uh, <laughs> and E-Rock, who I guess runs the channel now, he's, he wants me to make sure people know that the Doc series is on demand and on iTunes, the latest episode. Yep. So go get that and subscribe to that uh, podcast as well. That's it. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.